beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while this need. now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Love must capture the dimension of passion. Love must capture the dimension of commitment. Love must capture the dimension of pleasure. And love must capture the dimension of sacrifice. I did tell us last week that the highest and the most noble expression of true love is sacrifice. All the other components are important, but they are not equally important. Sacrifice rises above them all and it's important then we began to explain what love was according to the word of god number one i taught us that love is a choice never forget that whenever you say you love someone or something you are saying i have i've made a choice the bible is full of choices and the various consequences that accompany them when you say i love this business I love this person, I love this job, I love Jesus. You are saying, I have made a choice. A choice to be with that person, a choice to live with that person. I love you means I choose you. So next time you are using that word, you use it with understanding. And I told you that any relationship, whether marital relationship, love relationship, business relationship, that attempts to extract the power of choice either through manipulation or whatever is called witchcraft at every point of your relationship the power to choose must remain intact is that true yes we are constrained in the kingdom but not by legalism it is the love of god that constrains us so when we give ourselves uncomfortable boundaries, it's not because God took away the power to choose. Is that true? Yes. The proof of obedience is when you are given an opportunity to disobey. Until you have an opportunity to disobey, your obedience cannot be validated. We have all kinds of manipulative relationships, business relationships, marriages, unfortunately, love relationships, that are a product of force and manipulation. At no point in any relationship, especially relationship that has to do with, you know, love relationship, couple, you know, all kinds of um, dimensions of love relationships. You must never usurp on the power to choose. Are we blessed? We did discuss again last week that true love means understanding value remember that when i say i love you it means that i understand your worth and your importance and your usefulness take note of that word that i i understand your usefulness to me to god and to society so if i say i love pastor alpha what i am saying is that i have discerned 
his importance and his usefulness to God, to me, and to society. So there cannot be fight under that kind of revelation. When a man beats his wife and says she's a stupid woman, you are irresponsible, you are this, what you are simply trying to say is that I do not perceive your usefulness. When a man allows his children and his wife to suffer and languish in poverty and anguish, what he is saying is I do not consider them to be useful. When a man has no time for his family, his business, his relationship with God, when people don't pray, I told you that lack of prayer is not just a sign of backsliding, it's proof of pride. Is the validation of your arrogance because it's a sign not only that you have declared independence over God it's a sign that you have failed to discern his usefulness in your life it's not the issue of becoming a prayer warrior when you know who God is and you know who Satan is and you know how life can treat you without him it becomes a matter of life and death to love him and seek him are we together I understand the extent of your usefulness. I love my phone. That means I am not ashamed to declare that in the absence of my phone in my hand, it will affect me. Now, it doesn't mean I cannot live without it, but I cannot also deny. You see, this is a call to intentional vulnerability. It's a word that we don't like to use, but it is true. The moment you love something, based on this definition and you discern value you are not afraid to communicate your need come sam so i love sam what that means is that sam i cannot pretend that outside of you my life will be normal and i'm not ashamed of it are you seeing that now it is true that no man is indispensable but there are people that when they live your life your life will never be the same for example god for example, God. For example, Satan. There are entities that when they live your life, your life will never be the same. I don't care all these useless children. Leave me in peace. When they go, your life will never be the same. These irresponsible workers, I can walk without you. It is true, but you will pay the price. We live in an arrogant generation that acts as if people are not useful. For God so loved the world, he was not only mindful, but he came to say, man, I'm ready to talk to you. Man said, I will talk at my terms. He said, no problem. I'm ready to be that humble. God. God does not act like man is useless. It's only men that act like men are useless. God has always carried men along. Man say, will not go. God say, why? What is the issue now? Say, you have not, your presence doesn't look. He say, okay, my presence will go with you and I will give you peace. Now, he can do without you, but he unashamedly created boundaries to his ability to make sure man must participate for his might to be seen. Let me tell you this. One of the ways of expressing love is to intentionally limit yourself so that the other party can find value are we blessed yes i can sing i can play this keyboard you see i started learning how to play keyboard 1994 i can come here and act as if i don't need this guy it is it is one of the destroyers of relationships the man says, I can cook. The woman says, I can cook too. The man says, I can get pregnant. The woman says, I can get pregnant. The man said, there's something I can do too. Your womb is not the only thing that can bring a child now. Thanks to science. The man says, I can get money. The woman said, me too. I have business savvy. This inability to limit. Oh, you will be so blessed today. The inability. We are just doing a recap of last week. To limit yourself. Think of how wonderful God is. He gives you the anointing. Gives you the word. Then steps back. And allows you to be the one to do the speaking. Can't he push you and say, are you joking? You are smiling when I'm there on the throne. Where were you when I created? No, 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 no. He's not intimidated by men celebrating you. He anoints you. 
He has not yet validated whether you will betray him tomorrow. Yet he anointed you today and said, stand for me. What if you choose to hate him tomorrow? He said, no problem. I take that risk because I understand your value. And so I anoint you. This is one of these perfectionist agenda is a failed agenda because God does not wait for men to be perfect. Sincerity must replace perfection in your standards. Are we together? So we discussed that. Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. Number three, we said true love is honor. Honor. I totally dislike this honor. I don't hate those who communicate it, but I hate everything about dishonor. Dishonor is not only sin, dishonor is evil. Dishonor is the deliberate refusal to discern, acknowledge, and celebrate the uniqueness of a person. That's what dishonor is an intentional refusal. Dishonor seeks to trivialize people. So when they say a Jimmy is such an an intelligent person he's such an anointed man you seek to bring a factor to show that he does not warrant that level of acknowledgement there are people like that dishonor can be a habit are you hearing what i'm saying dishonor can be a habit let's go and tell our parents thank you for what for what what did they do it's a habit Dishonor can be as addictive as this, this thing this guy gave testimony about. Tramol, tramadol. Yes, you can be addicted to dishonor. Because every time you dishonor a man, you try to use, there are two ways to grow tall. Climb something or cut the head of everybody above you. Dishonor seeks to do that. So because of your frustration to climb and rise, you try to cut down everything so that they will look like you it's a terrible attitude i watch it all the time i've driven everything and i continue to do it intentionally you never dishonor me and hang around me no matter who you are young or old i honor people but if you dishonor me i draw a line and supervise that that line remains i hate dishonor it is devilish i will not dishonor anyone but I will not tolerate dishonor. Not as if, I'm very outspoken about that one. Dishonor is dangerous. He said, those who honor me, I will honor. But he that despises me, I will likely esteem. Honor the Lord, not give to the Lord. Honor, your attitude is important. God watches how you do it. That's what makes it honorable. Hallelujah. Honor is the recognition the acknowledgement, the celebrating, and even the rewarding of value. Brothers and sisters, our world is full of people who are valuable. Wives are valuable. Husbands are valuable. Ladies are valuable. Men are valuable. There are cultures that train men to dishonor women by default. The philosophies of those cultures were designed to ensure that a full-grown man cultivates an appetite for intentionally dishonoring a woman. And there are many ways to communicate that. Unfortunately, there are also cultures and philosophies that more dangerously programs women to dishonor men. We live in a generation right now where anything a man can do, a woman can do. And so she does not see any basis of honoring the man. You are earning 50,000, I'm earning 100. You bought a car, I bought a car. You are a doctor, I'm a doctor. You are a public speaker, I'm a public speaker. If you drive me out, I have property somewhere. So the woman, that's why successful women hardly enjoy good marriages. Because there is a side effect. Until the Holy Spirit tames a woman to that position where she understands and subscribes to divine order. Society and sadly relationship experts have contributed in no small way to advancing this demonic doctrine. Where a woman's loyalty and honor to a man is based on obvious reasons. So if the man loses his job, 
the woman believes she has a legitimate right to dishonor him no sir society marks it yes god marks it no it's up to you to choose remember the power to choose is still there so my assignment is to present the word of god and leave you to choose you can say this 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 apostle has come again no problem but one thing is that for every choice you make be ready to also prepare for the consequences love is honor never say you love anybody you dishonor no i love children and they fall and you leave them there you don't love children i love jesus no where is your giving i forgot no you don't you don't honor him i love my wife really i love my husband i love my business you must preserve through honor i said something that maybe let me just say it quickly and then we'll go to today's teaching true honor is mutual say it after me true honor is mutual one more time if honor is one-sided it turns the one give because you see honor is a sacrifice honor many times can be ego stinging especially for men it is not in a man's natural disposition to turn and honor his wife or subordinate it's easy to honor someone obviously higher than you but the bible says honor all men you see that so it is not in man's natural disposition to honor so if and when he does it there must be a reciprocation we honor the lord through our worship he honors us back by confirming our words with signs following it is always mutual a business where only one person is honoring the people the ceo honors his staff and the staff do not see a need to intentionally honor the honor must be vocal otherwise it is not honor you don't honor in your heart alone it's not true you must find a way of vocalizing your honor by vocal i don't just mean communicating it in speech alone there must be action there must be motion to back up honor are we together yes you honor the lord let me see it in your giving let me see it in your loving him let me see it in the sacrifices why do you call me lord and do not do i don't see a corresponding action honor must be mutual if a husband honors the wife a wise wife will find a way of reciprocating the honor immediately as soon as possible not after five years no visitors come to your house and your wife prepares a wonderful meal and people say ah your wife can cook imagine you not love i say well uh, that, that's what god can do that's not honor enough that's pride that's pride yes it is that's the name it's called pride the man must find a way you see that of appreciating the same thing with the woman my god what a beautiful house say, ah, have you forgotten i learned interior decor no that's not the issue madam you would have been broke if that man did not provide money don't pretend that okay but he brought half of the money it doesn't matter that half played a role a wise woman hides her glory and makes sure that the husband is seen just like the sun and the moon the glory of the sun is reflected in the moon but the glory comes from the sun honor is mutual ladies say it honor is mutual gentlemen say it honor is mutual so if the music director acknowledges the people and say gentlemen you are a brilliant team they should find a way not a pretentious way there's a way somebody talks you know that i don't even like what you are saying you will hardly have fights and quarrel when there is an intentional covenant of communicating honor do you know why honor is important because challenges are inevitable honor is like a cushion that prepares for the days of challenges so that in the midst of the harshness of the challenges you remember don't forget the fact that we are quarreling today remember yesterday i lavishly communicated honor so it will cushion the effect when there is no honor when trouble comes it wounds more than intended because there was a foundation of trouble 
Is God speaking to us? That's why it's difficult to forgive in many relationships. Family relationships because there has been an accumulation of dishonor. The wife to husband or husband to wife. You can earn a living practicing honor. There are people in life I'm eternally indebted to. They have, they have, they have bought me over literally through honor. There are people who the door of favor closed in their life because there was no honor. Be sensitive to honor. Learn it. You will look like a fool until the blessings start coming. Hmm? In business, practice honor. In marriage, practice honor. In relationship, practice honor. Don't say I did it once. No. Honor. Let's get to today's teaching. Thank you, Jesus. Is God changing us? Please be determined to practice this. Our apostles are from that village. No, we have been called out of every tribe, tongue. Nobody is talking village here. Nobody is talking ancestral cause. I don't care what your father worship. God is giving you a chance now to wash yourself with the word and come out of all these demonic excuses that people keep bringing that is shredding lives and families and opportunities into pieces. Honor. Honor can schedule a season that should not be there. Honor can schedule a season that should not be there. Somebody did not plan to bless you that far, but honor forces him to extend more than intended. I've been a victim of it. People have honored me in such a way that I, I watch myself like I was spellbound, doing more than intended because of honor. This honor can also shorten the life of favor. Favor can have an artificial half-life because of dishonor. I plan to bless you for five months. Dishonor made it reduced to two weeks. These are the systems of the kingdom that we must learn. Are we learning? The next thing we are going to discuss, very interestingly, what's the title of tonight's message? What is love continued? In any relationship, especially love relationships, there must be clarity and definiteness of motives, roles, and expectations. In any kind of relationship, there must be clarity and definiteness of motives. One, two, roles, three, expectations let's discuss this clarity of motives clarity of roles clarity of expectations fight and quarrel all kinds of untold pain remain the lot of any individual who trivializes clarity come sir Let's assume Sam works for me. Look up, everybody, please. There is something called an employment letter. Is that true? When you get a serious job, they give you an employment letter. Contained in that letter are certain details. One, the name of the corporation or whatever job you are doing. Number two, a definition of your task. And then whatever level. Number three, the privileges that accompany what you are doing. Leaves, leave grants and all of that. Is that true? Number four, there are details there to the HR department or whatever it is for further information. They call it your employment letter. So they give it to you. Congratulations and they give you a few details. That becomes the basis of your remaining and functioning in that company. Is that true? And then furthermore, for most corporations, there is a season of orientation. Is that true? Especially for very specialized jobs where they give you details of what you should do. They tell you in that corporation, everybody is not the same. There is somebody called supervisor. There is somebody called director. 
there is somebody called manager you don't behave to all of them the same way clarity of motifs clarity of roles clarity of expectations if your salary sam is two hundred thousand and i pay you one hundred and twenty thousand you have a basis of complaining you can go to the hr department or the finance department and say sorry based on my job i have an expectation of two hundred thousand and it looks like i'm being shortchanged and any decent uh outfit should be able to look into the matter is that true even if they are unable to meet that standard they owe you an apology for violating your expectation is god blessing us thank you so much sir. are we together now this is very important most relationships start naturally which is wonderful but most relationships don't remain naturally there are hardly any friends aside from maybe your wife or husband that you have to take out time articulate yourself ask out wait for answer most friends most friendships start naturally either because you are workers in the house of god is that true or you are classmates or business colleagues because of the the natural effect most times we think that because it came naturally it must be natural so i want to start a business and I tell Sam, there's this idea. And Sam says, wow, can I come in? Now look at this. That is a dangerous thing that has happened. Because when Sam came in, there was no definiteness. Who is the business for? They all say, let's, the most important thing is let's trust God for this thing to work. Now you didn't expect it to be so successful. You thought you may make 30,000 and in two months you made 5 million. And then you just turn and say, Sam, I just felt like appreciating you. And Sam drops the money and says, you are joking. Appreciation? We travel to Abuja together. He said, come, I hope you are aware that this is my business. And Sam said, that was not, there was no clarity. Is God speaking to us? No clarity. The same thing. A guy just holds a lady and says, let's just be close. And for nine years, they are like that. Nine solid years. Listen, 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 listen. Calm down. No turning faces. Look at me. I'm the one talking. For nine years, a young man is working for someone. He doesn't know whether he's employed or not. He doesn't know whether he's entitled to a salary or not. He doesn't know whether he's a protege. He doesn't know whether he's employed. He's there for 12 years. They employ people in his presence. He's always the one that helps the boss. He's been cleaning shoes for 10 years. Without clarity, there is no progress. There is no basis for creating progress. So a man gets into all kinds of friendship. And then there are all kinds of parasitic experiences because there was no definiteness of motives. Listen, I am friends to Sam, for instance. I want to be a friend to Sam. And then Sam is a friend to me. It is costly to believe our motives are the same. I may come to Sam because I, had, I just like the guy and I think that he's able to help me achieve something. There's nothing wrong. Sam may come to me because he has struggled and suffered and he's hoping now those various the 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 variations in motif will create the variations in commitment are we together if sam's purpose of coming to my life is just that i help him with a house rent and that's it you don't expect Sam to be committed when I'm telling him, Sam, let me give you my 20-year plan. Sam says, that's not my basis of being here. I'm here for you to help me with rent, after which I don't know you again. Is that, is that true? That's why nobody, permit me to, to use this expression, nobody asks a prostitute, what's your background? Where, where is your father from? You mean you are this tribe? Did you ever go to school? No. The man can get up and walk in the daytime and not even know she's the one. Jacob, Leah, I mean, by morning, Jacob said, ah, you mean it was you? So that, that it, it can happen. 
how many relationships go unrewarded because there was no clarity how many of us live unrewarded lives in utter frustration how many businesses are unrewarded how many people have been used their potentials have been used you are a graduate you are a first class person your uncle says just come around let's see what happens five years you are still coming around you are doing the work of a a, a staff you are doing the work of um, um whatever you are doing the work of a husband work of a wife work of a doctor he can call you and quarrel you during the staff meeting you are there but there's no salary unrewarded lives because there is no clarity God spelled out what you will get in this kingdom and what you will not get. All. No man who lives father, mother, house, this for my name's sake, in this life, this is what you will get. But let me be honest with you, there will be persecution. He didn't lie to you. He said, with persecution. We, we put ellipses when we are writing those scriptures. Complete it in, with persecution because your success will be so notable it will attract unusual repercussions let's discuss this thank you sir can I talk about this write it down motifs let's take the first one motifs motifs are very important another word is intention motifs your intention for seeking God You've heard me drum it here in Koinonia. It's, it's an anthem here. Your intention, your motive for wanting a wife, your motive for wanting a husband, your motive for wanting a job, your motive for wanting certain levels of influence, if not defined, can end you and the other parties involved in utter frustration. I've said it that motives determine levels of commitment. The clearer and more sincere and more long term the motive, the greater and the deeper the commitment. There are things in my life that I don't have a long term affiliation to because I don't intend to stay long around them. It shows in my commitment. There are things that are a matter of life and death for me. It shows in my commitment. Many relationships, sadly, especially love relationships and even marriages, are built on wrong motives. And this is the foundation for frustration. There are many kinds of reasons why people relate, especially in, in the area of love, marriage, and the rest. I think for me, one of the... One of the the most dangerous and destructive motives for love is pressure. Pressure. The pressure to exit singleness has made people to make very fatal marital mistakes. The pressure to manage loneliness have made people to get into relationships without thinking of the implications. Pressure. There are people who have gotten into all kinds of things from businesses to individuals to groups to clubs to associations even to churches as a result of pressure. I've seen people who come to, a, to Koinonia like this and see how wonderful the worship team, um, you know, how they are and the wonderful things they are doing and out of pressure, not out of revelation. I want to be part of this. They are carried away by the flamboyancy and forget that for every performance here, there is time for rehearsals. And it can be very discomforting, though rewarding. Pressure. Especially for our dear sisters. I love you with all my heart. But the truth is that many of our sisters need help. The pressure to exit singleness, sometimes caused by parents, sometimes caused by movies, sometimes caused by an awareness of the passage of age and time now it, they are sincere don't get me wrong but it's still pressure are we together the pressure to exit singleness can be a wrong motif the pressure to make money fast can be a wrong motif 
and will not allow you to patiently build systems that last pressure wrong motives pressure to exit singleness people get into relationships as a way of managing emotional imbalances whether a gentleman or a lady they just feel i'm lonely and i don't like the loneliness and all of a sudden you now bring a lady into your life or bring a gentleman or bring personalities into your life who begin to pay the price for loneliness that the holy spirit and the revelation of scripture is what should bring are we together now it's amazing how people transfer their emotional excesses to partners this happens in marriage this happens in relationships they not aggression they transfer responsibilities that they should have for their lives they hate themselves they feel bad about themselves and there's nobody to blame because they are the only ones there then they now bring a woman into their life and use the template of their negative outlook on their self on the dear lady so the guy tells the lady look why are you not talking to me he says please i'm not in the mood a wise man should understand that this is how ladies act she's probably offended with something and needs him to gently just probe through and then the guy just turns and slaps her that slap would have happened since he's he has been angry with himself it's just that there was no scapegoat to vent it unfortunately the scapegoat now happens to be whether a lady is going out with or a wife and then he acts out on her and uses an obvious reason she shouted at me then you use a hammer to kill a fly because she shouted so you see that the, the real thing is not about the shout it's about a negative outlook is that true a sister can make a statement like may god prosper us all so you are trying to say i'm not rich Abby. i've been watching you no it's an outlook it's a disposition you have sustained for a long time and just because it's amazing it is wrong to transfer your imbalances to another person managers do it to their staff is that true pastors do it to members and there is always a supposed legitimate ground you can use that's why you must be god fearing it is the fear of the lord that will judge you you'll go back and say kai but truly truly mm -mm, this one i'm at fault our chains breaking tonight may they so break in jesus name love is not supposed to be or marriage or relationships it's not a way of transferring an assignment that the world should do to a partner to yoke that person with pain no number three wrong motives for relationships and marriage we're still on motives the perception that financial advantages will be derived from that relationship or that marriage now financial advantages should be part of the advantages derived but not the basis you don't come to somebody's house just to eat but at least a good family should offer you something if not anything water it's amazing and let me say this i know we are humans please don't get me wrong I'm, I'm very sympathetic to people's situations there are families who because of the reality of their financial predicaments doesn't matter what factors cost it the truth is that on the strength of certain levels of financial predicament the personalities involved and that includes both ladies and guys mostly ladies but includes gentlemen too can be pushed is that true into relationships and even marriages that should not be in hope that by being connected to that individual you can derive financial advantages as the ultimate basis it's a terrible thing if my basis of relating with um come david Dam, if i'm relating with david Dam because i know that he has some money and i'm hoping that instead of begging all the time why don't i just become his wife are we together now 
It's a terrible thing. And sometimes, let's be very sincere, our parents can push us. Even for men, they now come and ask the man, you are walking. Is the woman walking? He said, no, she loves God. She said, no way. So that my own share, she will now come in and block my own share. It's selfish. It's selfish. Listen, let me tell you this, brothers and sisters. I say this from my heart. Parents are not supposed to wait for children to bless them. It's an anomaly. And if it does happen, if it does, children are mandated to honor their parents. Are we together now? It's a scriptural obligation. But no parent should sit down waiting for their children to succeed. They sold their children in school like an investment. They sold their children in relationships like an investment in hope that their graduation will, or their getting into whatever relationship will now bring back financial rewards. It's selfish. It is not godly. Now, it is largely a product of pressure, but let truth be truth, brothers and sisters. It is selfish. There are many homes today that would have been in peace if selfishness of this sort was avoided. So there are men who are going around looking for ladies who are working, working class ladies earning 250,000 who maybe age is not on their side and they are willing to volunteer themselves to exit the ladies out of singleness provided she will pay the rent, provided she will do all. And so his own contribution is to make her a missus is selfish. There will be trouble in that relationship. Is God blessing us? Financial reward is a wrong basis for marriage. It's a wrong basis for latching onto people. Now, don't get me wrong. I've taught you on favor. Favor is relational, but it must not be the basis. I have enjoyed favor knowing people. I have been blessed extensively, but it cannot be the basis. Many of you are very sad hearing what you are hearing because for some of you, this has been the pivot. It's, it's, a, it's a pillar of your love and marital philosophy. It must crumble because God is rebuilding something that will last. If you are with me, say amen. amen. Wrong motives. Don't be under pressure. You say, it is true, age is not on your side. But just running into marriage or run whoever comes, it doesn't matter. Once let, let the guy just say, I'm a Christian. No. It is selfish because children are going to come from that union. Don't forget. If it's a business relationship, you can quit any day. But marriage, no, pay attention. Let me talk to every gentleman here. Remember that children will come from the product of your relationship. You must not be so self-centered that you ignore certain things because of what you are looking for. No. You must be very sympathetic. There are all kinds of children moving around with all versions of irresponsibility communicated. And it was a derivative of selfishness. Most of us have been uncomfortable with our loved ones. We have frowned and complained very vocally about the things they have done. God is now giving us a chance to correct it. Otherwise, we are going to do the same thing. Hallelujah. Relationship must be based on sincerity. Sincerity. Not some self-centered thing. This is the reason why, let me tell you how to know that a relationship is self-centered. The ease with which the individuals live. Whether it's a love relationship, whether it is a business relationship. If I can let go a business partner I've known for two years easily, it's a sign that there was no genuine commitment. Are we together? I'm not an advocate of divorce. But you see, sometimes as a man of God, part of your responsibility will have to be to manage individuals on this wise. And I have seen the pain in couples when they are about parting. Sometimes they have to do because the law has come into it and you have to respect the law, the constitution of your territory. But you see them live in tears. You just know that the differences were truly irreconcilable. But still there was that pain. But the relationship we have these days, it enters with speed and lives with speed. The guy just tells the lady, I lost the contract. She said, eh, which of them now? He said, the big one, no? 
and then the lady she doesn't leave at once she begins to angry call i'm busy sorry i'm this or the gentleman now comes and then the lady says well there's something i want to tell you i'm so sorry but i just want you to know that we have an idol in our family my my grandfather was actually a priest and there's a covenant that any man that comes around me something happens the brother said you mean it he said no problem Abba, is it not koinonia and never picks the call again you see that now but the day he was talking to his friends about the lady he said i love this he said are you sure he said, I do. but now because you are aware of something that and it's not like you are the one who will fight the warfare just to stand by while the fight is going on yet you cannot do it and you want to spend your life as you say with the lady no sir let's grow up some of these things we are doing is a lot of childishness this thing is serious business mm. is god helping us say in the name of jesus i redefine my motif for wanting friends for marriage and for the pursuit of god there are many christians who seek god for cars and houses you see the truth is that when you seek somebody for an ulterior motive the day you get it your goal has been achieved there is no impetus if i need children desperately and you find out that the system of getting children is a woman how many do you want for the day she gives birth to the fourth child you will subconsciously find out that she's a goal achieved that's the reason why you see many supposed romantic relationships end up in ashes after certain things have happened because the object of it was not genuine love it was in pursuit of certain things so the guy wants to exit singleness and he brings a lady the day he gets married he's shocked that one week later he's admiring his single days why because the goal has been achieved mama has been disturbing me Mario, oh yeah mama have married that's it and the wife says, so what do we do with ourselves now? We're married. Say, well, I go and ask my mother that first us to marry. <laughs> Motives. The word of God is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents. So I come to God with fasting and prayer. Lord, I want to know you. I want your presence. And the word of God moves past my words and my singing and enters my heart and sees in that heart that Lord, I've, I've been despised. They've been looking at me as if I would not become anything. So Lord, anoint me and God says, you failed the test. Uh-uh. This is not the key to the anointing. But you may be singing and the word of God comes to your heart and discerns that Lord, I seek to see your kingdom come. I seek to see lives change. The word returns back to God with a report. Genuine. And the anointing comes upon your life in dimensions and proportions you didn't even pray for this is the mystery behind receiving sometimes more than what you prayed for your motive was also praying while you were praying your motive was praying god give me money and then your motive was saying god use me to prove to people and god says no i'm hearing two of them your motive is canceling your prayer god bless me lord i look at lives and i see an opportunity to represent christ to them your motive has a voice and heaven can hear it you have captured my heart consumed my heart with your love that's my testimony lord you have my heart comes you, my heart with your love. Sing it one more time. Lord, you have captured my heart, comes you, my heart with your love. Here's the part I love. Hey, if all I say is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, that's more than enough. That's the name that is worth my adoration. If all I say is Jesus, Jesus, 
Jesus, that's more than enough. Listen, please sit down. Look at me, everybody. It is time for everyone in a relationship or married or ready for a relationship to be sincere with yourself tonight and probe your motive. Apostle, our family have suffered and they drove me. They said, I'm, I'm of a marriageable age. They said, I should go and bring a man that will help us. Your motive is sincere and I give you the credit for being sincere, but it is wrong. It is wrong. That's why God will bring a brother that will be a millionaire in five years. But because your motive is to get the future now, you will turn away your blessing and look for something else. And five years later, you will say, I had a chance. I had a chance to build with this brother. But because my motive was hinged about now, today. How many people had the privilege to build great ministries with people? They didn't have their motives were wrong and today they look at men of God on TV I used to know this man on campus I used to what did you do about it you did not see you didn't discern greatness so you were looking for tomorrow today now that rejected stone has become such a cornerstone that you will have to join the queue today and watch in admiration be careful when you despise people this is just by the way but be careful brothers and sisters do not despise anybody who is working with the holy spirit the holy spirit has a track record of producing signs and wonders he said there is this treasure look at people like us look what is done with our lives don't you ever look at somebody today just because he's wearing a tonsure. I'm not saying it just for relationship. There are many of us, we have a mindset of disdain, not relationship. One, you only honor people who seem to have a persona. When you see their car and you see finance, they are worthy of your respect. Be careful. Because that rejected stone, that rejected stone, brothers and sisters, when you see the Son of Man in power and glory, now the brother is fasting, the brother is praying. The truth is that even if you visit him, it's an embarrassing truth, but he cannot afford Gary. And he has been sincere to tell you, I'm not a thief. God is helping me. Relationship is a risk. Whoever can take that risk deserves to sit on the throne. Don't you ever admire my throne when you did not appreciate Adulam. There is a relationship between Adulam and the throne. Is God speaking to us? Mm. If you were not there during my pain, don't expect to be invited. That's why I love people and I honor them. I see young pastors, most of them, thrown away by supposed fathers, thrown away by people. And some of them come and say, man of God, my life is scattered, but I love the Lord. I was wrongly mentored and so my 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 life and I tell them don't worry you can start again because you can throw the pen and say carry I'm not ready for headache do you know in this our world we love results but we hate laboring to make the result happen when you see a young man and a young woman fire brand you just incorporate sonship it's funny what we do come darling this is my daughter come David Dam. This is my son. What investment did you make in them? They came to your office five years ago. You threw them away. Now you heard that this guy is a voice all around. You heard that this lady has a dangerous prophetic grace. And you just incorporate people. No. No, sir. You have no... You are not a stakeholder over any life you did not believe in. Are we together? I knew you yesterday. That's nonsense. Did you believe? When I said God was going to help us, did you believe? When I said I had the call of God upon my life with a torn trouser, sister, did you believe in him? When the gentleman was fighting an incurable disease that you were aware of and you ran away, did you believe? Our world is full of regrets because people lack discernment. You would have looked at Saul and called him a failure until you find out who was writing the epistles all around. You would have looked at Moses and called him a stammerer 
he would have looked at Peter and called him very emotionally boisterous be careful when you conclude on men everybody is a project under construction let God finish help those outside everybody is a project under construction making my 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 babu babu wani kamar listen let me just add something quickly be careful when you talk about people especially aspects of their lives that are not favorable brothers and sisters jesus had resurrected they were still talking about his death there are people you may see today yes the guy was a smoker when you knew him you've not known him for five years and this brother has received do you know i used to have a classmate years ago that guy i got to hear that he got into all kinds of funny things his father was a pastor and this brother got into I mean this just all this smoking these funny things I wondered where he got that thing from you looked at this guy his eyes were dark his mouth you know cracks all scattered life as if he never went to school I remember one day seeing the guy and he said he wanted to learn guitar he was crying I told him I said my friend the truth is that you're messing up your life but God can give you a chance and he said everybody has turned him down i said don't worry do you know four years ago i found out he was a pastor in salem chapel yes yes fiery pastor ah when he called me i said ah he was i said you mean it salem chapel archbishop sam amaga salem chapel you've become a man of god now he said yes I was talking and then we were discussing i was so happy i mean two minutes went to five minutes and he blasted in tongues i said this guy is filled with the holy ghost i mean this is this is not tongues that started today no there is tongues this thing has graduation it has levels ah, this brother was was ratting this thing and i just looked at him i said that's right brothers and sisters imagine the person who advised that nobody should help him that person will bury his head in shame forever most of our parents are old there is no helper because they advise people not to help their helpers they said this boy will be useless forever this lady is a prostitute forever while they were talking the hand of god was following that prophetess while that was happening you are living your life anyhow see do you know something about the call of god the call of god is dangerous it will haunt you until it finds you you do what you are doing the call will remain i tell you this yes so you will see somebody in a beer parlor now that's a geo i tell you it takes discernment just i'm not endorsing all these things but while you are concluding that geo that's 30 churches you are seeing and the person the day god is ready to stamp his feet you are on your way going from home as drunk as you are fire falls from heaven god will put a burden in the heart of one old intercessor woman who will pray for two years not knowing the name of the person she's praying for that's you there prophecy is haunting you the first dream is as you take from stupor you see a crusade you get up and say no me me that i contributed in scattering the chairs of one crusade god says keep watching let me tell you one of the signs of what the spirit of god is doing in this season is bringing people who are this rejected stone you see they are rising from families i'm saying this prophetically there are people they've concluded about you they've concluded everything about you but god god out of the ashes am i dying today I see the breaking of a brand new day in which the name of the Lord alone is glorified.
fire. I see the breaking of a brand new day. Your family may not look like anything, but out of the ashes of that dying today, I see the breaking of a brand new day in which the name of the Lord alone is glorified. I see the breaking of the brand new day. Listen, sister, if you don't like the brother, just go. Don't tear him down. Just go. Brother, if you don't like the sister, just go. Don't tear them down. Because God is in the business of turning people's lives around. You will see a brother that graduated 10 years, moving like a fugitive in one week. Three jobs just come. Have you not seen how history has changed people's lives? We must repent from concluding on people. Not when they are. That's why you see, let me tell you something. This is how I am. One hand is the hand of iron. Another hand is a hand of love. This is true fatherhood. When you are teaching, you teach preventive. You challenge people. But the other hand must be there. Are you listening to me? When you see me stand on stage and I'm preaching, you see the fire and fiery because I'm trying to create a platform for people to walk right. But then there is another hand, brothers and sisters. If all your hands are iron, you will not be a good preacher. On one hand, you must challenge people. But another hand, you must be ready to wipe the tears of people. One of my prayer as a person is to remain a shoulder that any and all kinds of people can come. Whether you are a drunkard, people can criticize. That's why you never come and find anybody saying something here and say, this lady, we know her. So what? What is your business? It is the house of God, not your house. Leave them. Oh, the brother comes today. Don't, just leave him. Focus on what God is doing. One day, just like someone, you see God touching people here. You don't know how long God has been following them. If God has not given up on people, don't, be, don't give up on people. Let me tell you, society is full of people with all kinds of pain. Don't come and add to it. You see people laugh in church. Forget all that laughter. There are people, some entered prostitution because of pain and frustration. Others entered it because of the frustration of their fathers. Some ladies are pursuing men for money, not because they are bad. It's the pressure of the pain. So you teach on one side, but with another hand, you are there to show love. Is God teaching us something? You have to learn. Some of us are pastors. We are very quick to conclude on people. We are very quick to turn and say, that lady, this brother, let me tell you, you know it. Ask the workers. There is nobody, nobody. There are people who have gotten pregnant in this ministry out of wedlock. I stood by them. Suspect me. It's your cup of tea. I love God and I love them too much to allow your legalism. Stop it. We don't stand close to our wounded people in the body of Christ. We are the first to point to them. We are the first to say this guy will never rise. We are the first to say this pastor came down. We are the first to say this, this brother cannot. Keep quiet. If the God in heaven says there is hope for a tree, then you better support him and say there is hope for a tree. I'm speaking to certain people here. There are some ladies who believe they will never get married. You ask them why they say, Apostle, if you know what I've done with my life, I bring you a word of hope. This God you see is a mighty God. You are amazing. You are amazing. You're so amazing. You are amazing. Oh, oh, oh. God is ministering to people. Motives. Number two, let me hurry up. Roles. There must be clarity of roles. Clarity of roles. First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 8. 
First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 8. A man has a role in a relationship. A man has a role in marriage. There is a divine order. A woman has a role. It says, but if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he had denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Whoever that man is, whether he's a pastor, whether he's an apostle, whether he's a prophet, whether he's a business CEO, there are roles most challenges in relationships most challenges in marriage is because of one or the other party when they refuse to perform the due diligence of their roles i was counseling a pastor this morning before i came into zaria and we got into a very serious discussion and he shared with me a few things that i felt were not supposed to be as far as his family was concerned and he seemed to justify it with a lot of spirituality he hoped i would be impressed at the end of it i told him carry a paper carry Byron. i told him i said go back to your wife and apologize to your wife he said he has a fasting program i said cancel it go to your wife apologize to your wife it so stung him but i said you honor me if you take my voice to be the voice of god in your life your heavens will remain closed there's no need praying for you go back swallow your pride humble yourself and say wife this is what i have done i have not played my role well and i told him the heavens will be open listen i told you in relationships there is no big manism you must be willing to be vulnerable are we hearing what i'm saying very important there are husbands who have not played their roles well there are wives who have not played their roles well there are pastors and leaders who have not played their roles well. There are those in love relationships who have not played their roles well. There must be a definition. No system works when there is no clarity of roles. Nobody will come and sit down on the keyboard if it's not in the worship team. There are many people who can play keyboard, but there is an assigned role. And even among all those who are playing keyboards, they know those who are on duty. Is that true? There is chaos and disorderliness every time there is vagueness of roles. If the wife has money, she buys food. If the man has money, he buys food. There is no clarity. When I'm not saying there cannot be assistance, but let there be clarity. Who is the authorized personality for performing this? If a man can cook and decides to go to the kitchen, according to that marriage who is supposed to that kitchen is whose office if because of the nature of the job of the people the man says no i love you so my love constrains me are you getting what i'm saying now the payment of school fees if because the man has lost his job or has not gotten a job and the woman has an advantage and she says look my husband i will go out of the way to pay the school fees that is an assistance whose role scripturally provision is under whose office salvation is not under the office of the holy spirit it's under the office of the christ there is no other name given to man by which we must be saved you can't say holy spirit i believe in you and be born again he is part of the godhead but it is not his office when you pray you pray to the father jesus taught us answered prayers is in the office of the father even in heaven there are roles are we together now the 20 and 4 elders have their roles gabriel as an archangel has a role he doesn't show up and every time he's shown up it was a role in heaven where there is no devil in heaven there was an exact angel that brought messages our lives are disorderly because our businesses our churches our ministries look at this i i always give this example watch this if i throw this on the ground by mistake whose role is it to come and help and pick and give it to me if there is no if there is no definition some will try to run and come is that true 
this lady will try to run and come and there will be chaos because all there was no definition of who plays which role is that true there has to be an authorized system if this mic goes off now everybody will run to the technical stand if there is no definition of who does what you see when there are roles reconciliation is easy because it's easy to identify who defaulted but when there are no roles confusion is a sign that a deceiver is present are we together now you have to understand how these systems work thank you guys are we together you must understand it's very important you're a businessman train your staff nobody does just anything no sir the wife cannot be the husband in the house doing everything it doesn't matter whether she has more money than the man it's not about money it's a divine order you don't like what i'm teaching please listen and find true freedom who is responsible for the disciplining and the correcting of the children if the man carries a rag and mobs the house and sweeps the house and does everything if the couples agree that let there be this because of our uniqueness it is love but not that people do you know that most people come into relationships with our ideas of roles the lady has her idea of roles based on what you saw with her mother and her father or her elder sister the man and everybody keeps their own we're talking about expectations shortly and then there is chaos and anarchy she collects five hundred thousand as a seed and then the man stops giving her money for four months and she says you are joking in my world you are supposed to keep giving me money whether i collect one million because you are the man and the man says in my world whoever has money at the moment pays for the bills both of them are tongue talking they are spirit filled but that relationship cannot work are we together there is no definition of roles no relationship can thrive no marriage can thrive even your work with god you know the one that is for god give to caesar what belongs there are some things that are a man's role sisters listen there is an anointing on everything a man does as prescribed by god any man that cannot cater for his family that means in god's system he has created a provision that if any man abides by that provision with time he should sustain the ability to provide for his family is that true there is a role of the woman i don't want to go into all of the details i've preached them in other messages but we have gentlemen who are very irresponsible in many relationships and many families a man can cross his leg with three or four children and then they come with the report card daddy uh next week is school is it, am i working have you seen me go out to work go and meet your mother jerry is shameless it's supposed to be a taboo and then he meets the dear woman who covers his shame as proof that she submits to him and pays the school fees then the man is happy and goes to sit down with his colleagues playing draft and sitting in front of shops and all of this and they discuss themselves they say, i control my wife i don't let her do any nonsense every money plus high is my own How about women that can have one million naira and watch their husband struggle through hundred thousand? Say, me, I'm not a fool. I love him, but I'm not that foolish. Let him do it. If I do it, he will get used to it. Wise sayings, counsels of Ahitophel that spread from family to family, from mothers to children, from fathers to all kinds of things. And people destroy homes with all kinds of mindsets. Listen. A believer is not just one who has given his heart to Christ. A believer is one who has submitted to the word of God as final authority. Is God speaking to us? Mm. I know my role in this ministry. I have a role in Koinonia. The Lord has put me by grace and by privilege to head this ministry. I know my role and I play it well. I can do other things but I choose to limit myself so that other people can find expression 
the heads of department are here they were constituted if I trust them then I step back and let them work there is a system of supervision I allow their creativity to find expression so that I can focus in the ministry of the word and prayer there are many churches that will not grow because the man of God wants to do everything you don't trust anybody they finish collecting offering and you just stroll as if you are going to pray and, and you just stroll in and say why is that envelope on the ground put it back what is your own job stay away that's how many men are they give their wives money and follow her to the market today I want to see okra can't be this price and they watch and we, we make a fool of ourselves understand your role if the person fails there is a third party in that relationship and God is more than just as carnal as we are God gives you the anointing and steps back I can misuse the anointing he will call me to order but he can trust me with the anointing if God can trust me with the anointing who are you not to trust another person there must be clarity of roles even in a relationship there must be clarity of roles define it who does what you are in a relationship come darling and the guy doesn't pray he doesn't care when it's time to pray say please you lead us you know you are the one who is a woman of god that's a foolish man because according to the principle of priesthood you can start carnal but you shouldn't remain like that you should so contend for growth that you should catch up fast also, you know us we, are, we just love god generally you are the ones who are really into this god thing just pray for us it's a thing a man should be ashamed of i don't condemn you for being where you are but you have to sit up are we together the order of priesthood in the home is first man god watched man fall when he came he didn't go to eve he said that's not my organogram Adam come 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 Adam gave him access to talk to Eve then he went to Eve even God could not talk to Eve directly he had to come to Adam so when Satan starts talking to your wife in your home something about your priesthood is missing why will a strange woman enter your house and start manipulating your wife where did you keep your discernment where were the dreams no prophecy no dream no feeling anything come on now is god speaking to us there must be clarity of roles in this ministry i know my role i can't allow anybody's prayer life as much as i know to be greater than my prayer life in this ministry i'm finished what else am i doing it's not just holding the mic. Geo and, and, and all these funny things. It's not just about water and all of this. There is a spiritual... When things go wrong in people's lives in the ministry, ask those who know me. I go back with pains and I say, God, what happened that you didn't show me? I remember one of our heads of department that died I don't know how many years ago ask the protocol immediately they told me that thing when i finished i went on a retreat immediately for three days nobody saw me i was asking god questions what happened to my eyes what happened to my ears that is a great father that you enter your home and see your children crying i say well in nigeria i'm not worried no you are an irresponsible man a good man will stand here in the presence of the children and with tears coming he will go and lock himself and say that's it which who in my circle is financially free i'm going to break my pride and go back i can't watch this I, it's amazing how children go to fathers daddy i want school fees i don't have what should i do that's irresponsible that is sin it's the same thing like drinking blood and eating flesh because you are destroying someone's destiny please don't get married when you are not ready to play your role being a man is not about having a masculine figure. It's not six pack. It's responsibility. It's responsibility. It's responsibility. 
are we together that's why we finish koinonia i stand every friday for at least five hours when i stand here around 7 7 30 i don't leave this place sometimes till 12 or 1 in the night responsibility i return by 4 30 from a trip i've been away i've not even eaten anything truthfully speaking i'm here standing by 5 30 we are off again to lagos it's responsibility it's responsibility i owe a responsibility to teach you the truth under god you have honored me it will be wicked immediately i arrived i carried my laptop and my notebook first just to dust on the topics abba provider protector abba provider don't bring any woman into your life that you don't have it starts from relationship this irresponsibility has traces you can see it as a man don't keep quiet in a relationship every time there is a cost dimension even if you don't provide it be sympathetic to it are we together you want to pay school fees and your wife pays don't say oh well thank you no my wife thank you so much you have helped me do this i'm proud of you i truly appreciate me tell my wife this no way i won't do anything then you continue how many women leave their roles to house helps who win the hearts of their husband and they keep binding and casting because they are out gossiping with people who talking about people um um what's her name please make sure you know my husband doesn't like too much but just do this if you are busy it's justifiable but most of them is out of laziness and then the lady is preparing and the man is watching a virtuous lady she comes to serve him and the devil starts suggesting saying what was really your plan for a wife and at the end of it when those women come for counseling they won't tell you the whole story they will cut the part that makes the man evil are we together you must be willing to play your role you must be i can't come to a house and see children running up and down mucus on their nose their clothes with oil and the wife is just crossing her legs no ma you are failing in your role just because the man helped to dress the children is not his role the design of a woman is a reflection of her role visitors cannot come and sit down and then the wife is just sitting and then the man goes to the fridge he's trying to quickly prepare something i said don't find my husband that's how he is no that's not how he is that's how you made him god made him to occupy a position of honor is god speaking to us yes i must pray for you it's a responsibility i must attend to you as much as possible it's a responsibility i must sow into your life not waiting for you to carry money and come and give me no sir brother is that what you are doing in your relationship is that what you are doing in your marriage sister is that what you are doing let's correct these things tonight if you are not yet in a relationship thank god if you are not yet married thank god because now you are learning you are learning how many women are carrying the book you see a child sick children sick three children sick and you see the woman holding a hot air umbrella in the afternoon backing one and holding two with the umbrella just singing praise and worship and going and then the husband is somewhere and you will find that man in a pepper soup joint somewhere you see that or donating money to one man of god it doesn't matter even if it's me it's a sin you take care of your family first carry any money and come and give any man of God and leave your family dying God does not act like that are we together and you are wondering where is this woman's husband child is coughing the other one is purging the baby is crying you see her tapping the baby standing in the hot sun and sometimes the husband can pass with a car and just wait later 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 no sir no sir no sir your father advised you that that's what he did to your mother to respect him but that's not the word of god we've been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation is god speaking to us don't expect to change if you are not taught 
it is the entrance of the word that gives light otherwise your default mindset even if you hated it is what you will see playing out I watch the way brothers treat ladies and I know they are on their way to being bad gentlemen now I know that ladies have their issues here and there but let me tell you it is still not enough reason please marriage is not by force it's not the condition for heaven if you must marry be willing to play a role it is true that the woman should respect you regardless of results but results is like a lubricant to honor and submission it is difficult for a woman to struggle to submit to a man who has proven himself to be worthy of honor he said let them that rule well be counted for double honor is God speaking to us I'm going to stop here in that area we are still going to talk on expectations very quickly but listen if you are in a relationship or you are looking at a lady prayerfully or you are looking at a guy prayerfully it doesn't matter what category or you are married go back home tonight and ask yourself if you want to get into business partnerships what is your role do you understand I'm coming into this business as what please if you are a CEO here or you have a business you are leading a business go back and find out all the people involved in that business what is their role let there be clarity if there is one boy running around your house one girl running around your house let them know are they protégés or are they sons and daughters maybe spiritually or by reason of commitment don't leave vagueness in your house who enters your room and who doesn't who should enter your bedroom and who shouldn't who should open your wardrobe and who shouldn't if you don't define it one day something will happen that will surprise you you see homes there are times a man and his wife can sit down they are discussing very private issues and the next thing their mother or mother-in-law somebody just bangs the door and then oh you who are discussing bar sorry uh, there's no no it's the fault of the man create a system of order anybody that comes under my roof should know their boundaries and their limitations are we together yes nobody should come to your house with your wife there and just enter your kitchen and start cooking no sir if your wife authorizes her or on grounds of friendship that's fine people cannot veto into your life like that a man who does not have control over his spirit is like a city without walls put walls there are walls in heaven there's no enemy there yet there are gates to regulate and bring order 12 gates hallelujah I live a peaceful life as a man of God because there is clarity I don't have to come here in the daytime to check have they put the chairs no the people have been trained to keep their roles here and there people forget their roles or don't meet up to expectations then you can lovingly call people to order you don't blame everybody for one person's mistake when there is clarity of roles if there is no food in the house you know who to blame transfer of aggression is proof of lack of wisdom there has to be somebody if it is systemic you can pinpoint who should do this you don't blame your wife for something children should do children are running around there and you finish eating and your wife does not carry the plate and you have a young lady 13 years she catwalks and pass you there you call her back and say no pick that plate you are going to become someone's wife yeah, daddy I don't like this this is the kind of thing I, that's how I wash in that film tell her keep quiet keep quiet fast this is my house I love you I've been responsible I don't mean to abuse you but it is not under my watch if I train you and you get to the age of discretion and you mismanage your life I can stand before God and men and say that is my daughter I train her her life is not a reflection of my convictions you remain my daughter but you you reap the consequence of your actions but not when you are under your watch don't let anything under your watch in business and in life go out without definition expectations number three Let's talk about this and we pray. Is God helping us tonight? Yes, sir. Acts chapter 3 and verse 3 to 5. Quickly. Every relationship has expectations. Marriage, business, career, church, 
mentor, mentee, father, son, daughter, husband, wife, whatever kind, every relationship has expectations. Acts chapter 3, please. The Bible speaking about the man at gate, beautiful. He kept seeing Peter and John. The Bible says that he saw them every time and then one time when he saw them, they looked like they were rich. They created an impression that cultivated expectation. And then the Bible says, who seeing Peter and John? Were they the only two that went to the temple? No. There was something he had been observing in them. That was his place of stay. And the Bible says, he asked them for arms. Verse 4. And Peter, fastening his eyes, implicated himself by saying, look on us. If he kept quiet, that man would say, talk. You are passing the rest he kept begging and the rest just did like this but peter stopped are we together now yes many people don't want children but you stopped you said i want you are implicating yourself many people don't want marriage you stopped you looked at a lady and said i want to spend my life with you every time you make a proposal and a commitment you are creating expectation he says look on us verse 5 the last verse now he says and he gave heed to them expecting to do what please talk to me expecting to your wife expecting something from you your husband expecting from you God expecting from you you expecting from God everything relational has expectations frustration in relationships are products of disappointed expectations now many people are not vocal enough about their expectations for most couples it is hidden they are not vocal to state it out which in my opinion is very dangerous there must be clarity of not only motifs roles but expectations expectations of behavior hello look up please expectations of contribution if you get a job with a bank they tell you what to expect and then they tell you what they are expecting from you is that true yes you can see the way the worship team is dressed wonderful lovely people by subscribing to this department there are expectations you have expectations but then there are also expectations there are demands and it must be clear imagine if they didn't plan what to wear there are times that i believe you can freestyle everybody just wears whatever at that time you don't blame anybody for wearing what we can't all agree to wear suit and then you just come in with your jeans and say look there's liberty in the house of god no there's expectations there are, there are times in the bank where they say today we are wearing the vests. If you are in that bank and you are walking, you, it's not whether you like it or not. It's the sacrifice for relationships. Please, I want you to note this. All relationships should have clearly defined expectations. Especially love relationships. Expectations of behavior. And expectations of contribution what do I expect you to bring to the table as my wife what do I expect you to bring to the table as my husband I just entered a relationship with you congratulations what do I expect you to bring what is the expectation of behavior from me to you what is expectation of behavior from you to me listen don't say it does not matter there is expectation of behavior when a woman gets married, her husband expects certain behaviors. The man too should, there, there is a way you must behave. There is a way you talk. There is a way you reason. When God makes you a leader and anoints you, there is expectation. Expectation. When trouble happens in, let's say, a company, you see maybe a, a staff and a customer are fighting. They are all fighting. When a manager or a director comes out, he doesn't act like the person who just got a job. 
Don't insult me or just because we live on the same street. I will remove this suit and beat the living daylight out of you. And while he's talking, a director comes out. His attention is called. He has been trained to create an expected behavior that reflects the values of the bank. And he comes out and says, okay, calm down. What's wrong? And he says, your staff, he, every time I talk to him, he counts money. And there's, you people are all cheats in this bank. He says, all right, we apologize. And he's paining the staff. The staff is saying, this guy. He says, no, it's all right. Just go up and wait for me. He doesn't even rebuke him. And then he tells the man, I'm sorry. For doing this, we are giving you 2,000 naira extra. And God said, tell that your foolish man that I'm a valued staff. And walks out. You will think the director was cheap for doing that. It's called expected behavior. He now goes out and shuts the door. And then blasts the hell out of his staff. And then when he finishes... They come out as if they were drinking tea together because there is expected behavior. Does your home have an expected behavior? That's why men don't know who to beat in public or secret. No expectation. They just beat the wife, quarrel the wife. There are things your wife does not expect from you. There are things she expects from you. If you do not fulfill the expectations, the parties will be frustrated. Are we together? A woman cannot marry and still want her single life again. Something, you, you must have given up something. A man cannot marry and still want his single life again. You, are, you used to stay out late, 10, 30 in the night for no reason. Now you are married and you say, please, that's how my life is. There is expectation of behavior. Hallelujah. You won't come and see me stand here. I'm not saying it's bad. You won't come and see me stand here flying chains and wearing all kinds of rings in my hand. They may not be wrong in themselves, but leadership demands expectation of behavior. Are we together? I can't come and stand here with clothes, not iron. As simple as that. If I were not in my position, it would not matter. But the position demands an expectation. Is God speaking to us? Every business, every career, and every love relationship must have a system of providing clarity of expectation. Now, let me say something very quickly. Look up, please. I wrote something down here. Never try, this is particularly for love relationships, never try to change a spouse's personality there is a difference between personality and mindsets the only thing that can change is mindset personalities do not change easily most marriages and relationships are, are a circle of frustration because the man brings any lady and wants to force and mold that lady to reflect his idea and there are certain things that are ideological in nature but there are certain things that are personalities you will be blessed listen carefully a personality write this down the word personality means the psychological classification of different types of individuals please learn this personality talks of the psychological classification of different kinds of people personality talks about an individual's make up an individual's inherent identity an individual's make up an individual's inherent identity not mindset personality is not mindset an example of personality types now we're not doing all the standard the psychometry and all of this but i just want to give you an idea look up please because this is an area of great healing for many of us listen we have people who are quiet and reserved it's a personality we have people who are logical and inquisitive it's a personality we have people who are vocal and idealistic they are very outspoken we have people who are adaptable and agreeable they can marry anybody, it doesn't matter. If they marry pastors, they can be a pastor's wife. If they marry a farmer, they can be a farmer's wife. They can adjust and adopt. There are men like that. You make them CEOs, they will do well. You make them, you tell them to learn guitar, they can, they are adaptable. 
and agreeable there are people who that's see let me tell you this most relationship experts most of them were fortunate to come into lives with people whose personalities resonate and then they take for granted the ease with which their marriage is working and keep writing all kinds of books and making it look like if you are not getting that ease something is wrong it's a lie I don't have experience to speak over marriage but I can tell you from the word of God and from people whose lives have been models that any marriage is hard work is that true so away with there are people who are fortunate they were able to resonate with individuals whose personalities are in tandem so whether or not with minimal effort there is compatibility so they they carry their relationship and their marriage as a template and write books about it and mentor people marriage is like the signs on the palm of someone's hand you can only be guided but you are the one who walks your marriage out with fear and trembling is god speaking to us There are people who are people-oriented and fun-loving. You will mistake them for being less as fair, but they are not. Even when they say someone has died, they can say, eh, eh, and in two minutes they are laughing at something else. And you are saying, I, I expect you to be crying. You say, well, I used to have a friend like that. Very interesting friend. Even when he was sick, he said he had malaria and he was still laughing on a call. I said, this, this guy, will you ever frown? now you will see those people and be deceived that they are always joyful no don't let their personality betray you you will be with them for 10 years laughing every day and they will tell you i've never been happy in this marriage from day one you say i can't believe this you look at the portrait in the parlor that's you laughing he said no it's my personality i have never really been happy there are people who are strong-willed and authoritative men and women alike strong willed you have to give them a thousand reasons to bend to the slightest adjustment ah may that be not be your wife oh, may that not be your wife strong willed and authoritative there are people who are argumentative and controversial you ask them what is one plus one I say it depends on the base base what a simple answer that you can give they, they like it. They like being controversial. Are we together? Yes. You ask a very simple question. They escalate little things. I saw the way you smiled at that guy. And you know, in psychology, there's something called eye contact. They, they create stories out of nothing. I'm sorry I did this to you why did you leave it till now i mean they, 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 no, no, there has to be a logic in this i mean you had a chance to say it in the morning in the afternoon you are saying it by night it's a sign of argumentative now they may not be bad it's a personality most people are not guided it's when they get married they find out through experience that this is who and what i've married are we together what is a mindset a mindset is a viewpoint a perspective an established set of attitude it's usually a product of orientation I wrote here that is created by information the difference between a personality and a mindset is that a personality is inherent it doesn't mean it cannot be adjusted it can be adjusted by the power of the Holy Spirit but it is inherent a mindset is a philosophy you got as a result of an orientation that an information gave you now let me tell you this no matter how um please come come two of you let's assume that doctor is very quiet are we together let's assume that he's a very quiet person let's assume that david dam is very very um very vocal now two of them are filled with the holy spirit and all of that but the truth of the matter is that the wife comes and says me i like quiet men then you came to this guy you are going to frustrate him by saying don't talk the personality will keep betraying you again and again okay keep quiet and he keeps quiet after five minutes sorry that, that thing i want to keep quiet now and then at the end he says, you are frustrating me this is what happens in many marriages 
the couples are on a mission to change supposedly you can't change any man you can only change mindsets and trust the holy spirit create a system of understanding to manage personalities otherwise don't go there fortunate for you if you can discern before but if you didn't then you must create a system of accommodation there are women who are mouthy it's not it's not um it can be used wrongly but it doesn't mean they are bad they are just very vocal they say a woman talks four thousand words in a day while a man talks one thousand five so if a noisy woman talks 500 in a day that balance is coming one day prepare for it because it should be 4,000 <laughs> it's like a check that will soon cash are we together you already know that your wife for instance is not somebody who is very quiet and you have a business meeting find a diplomatic way of making her excuse the meeting because sharp personality is going to disrupt the meeting and you will hate your wife the bible says dwell with them according to knowledge same thing in relationships there are men who like fighting for rights a bike man throws you and then the person you are going out with just comes i say are you joking i have my friend who is a lawyer let's carry this i said no 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 let it be no way me Abba, i can't i can't except i'm not the one in this relationship you think it's a joke Three days later, you see one lawyer guy with a paper looking for a bike man. Say, you threw my woman. You are somebody who is generally agreeable. I don't like trouble. So don't tell the man the story of the bike man. Are you seeing that now? Since you forgive, let it be. There are all these advocates, fighters of justice. That's a Mandela kind of personality. If, listen, listen, learn this, we are going to pray. Are we together when you discern the personality then you create a system around it you can change mindsets not personalities don't go there if the personality by default does not resonate with what you can take unfortunately most people are not mentored to this degree so they make a lot of costly mistakes you're a quiet person and then a woman is noisy and you see her and say is it that you you are not hearing what apostle is saying and she says i'm sorry sir and while you are trying to talk she says sorry let me is, is this what i'm saying <laughs> my brother it is not a cause from anybody's father's house this is personality learn learn don't get angry at, and then let me tell you what the devil will do the devil will position a house help or someone that is quiet just like you want and he said can't look at look at this I've been talking to this lady for 10 minutes. She's been silent. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And you make the wife hate the house help and say, you are leaving next month in this house. Whereas that's the only source of helping her education. The man did not understand. And the man has dishonored his wife before the house help. You are comparing. I'm not saying the house help is bad, but you are the wife. But you are now comparing the wife with the house help. The small girl will go back and say, wow. So this is how this man esteems me. I can't believe it. The next time she's passing, she will make up. You will be shocked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She will make up. Not just because of going out like that. She said, ah, I used to think this is just, I mean, I can't believe that this man has this level of discernment over me. And trouble comes to your home. Don't try to change anybody. No man can change anybody's personality the more the word of God begins to act on you and cultivate the fruit of the spirit you see that the fruit of the spirit will begin to adjust your personality but it will not take everything away a talkative will be a talkative a quiet person will be a quiet person there are many quiet people we think it's the Holy Ghost that made them so no it's their personality so they make you feel guilty for talking so much they make you look like if you are really a spiritual person you should be quiet it's a lie it's a lie it's a big lie. There are others who are vocal and mouthy and jumping around. Maybe preach yourself. You can jump around and make it look like if you are not agile like that, you, mm -mm, mm -mm. that's not the Holy Spirit. Let's separate between the one our personality brought in and the one that came. Just because you are anointed, Elijah was a temperous person, short tempered. He would have easily walked on it, but he didn't choose to walk on it. God still used him. So while you are mentoring, 
you are looking at his life for mentorship make sure you take away the personality so that you don't take the personality as part of what the holy spirit produces in men there are people who are not honest i can be angry with david Dam now and insult him and say it's the zeal of the lord no sir it's not the zeal of the lord i have a personality problem i must be unashamed to make this know that this is not mm -mm, this is not the holy spirit it is true that the holy spirit convicted me but this uh -uh, that insult part was not the holy spirit are we together you can change mindsets but you almost may not be able to change personalities no don't try to change your spouse's personality to reflect yours create a system of understanding create a system of understanding i've taught again and many of us know from psychology that women respond to life emotionally and men respond to life logically we know that you cannot make a woman become another man because of this let me tell you uh, you've heard me share it i can miss david dam for one year and the day we see this is what happens david hi and we're like ah i missed you i so missed you and it's over that's it all right uh, we'll see this is why you're missing that's a man for you i just hugged him and remember that there's something i need to go and do quickly a lady will leave her friend in the morning and just because the friend didn't call by two by four she said Haba, i noticed you are getting heartless these days just because of six hours gap not to talk of a man that now traveled for three days and came back and you see her being childish and playing all around you and you say what, what did i marry I'm a, I'm a serious man everybody knows i'm visionary what is this jumping up and down for that's a lady for you i tell you the ladies are so blessed that i understand this and i'm letting you know yes they are are we together now listen the lady can come and meet the brother we're rounding up sir the landlord came home and then the man keeps quiet you didn't hear what i said then the man keeps quiet because you see when men are under pressure silence is the way they speak silence does not mean they are ignoring you silence means they are processing if you don't understand this about men you will destroy yourself and say what is all this thing with this man what is all this thing you know blah 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 when women are under pressure they can talk you've heard me say it again and again the woman will talk about the issue of oil on a chair that it is not oil anything she has been finding a way of engaging her husband and the guy has been she's angry about plenty things and it so happened that he now poured palm oil on a chair i'm the one who walks in this house i walk every day blah 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 blah. and the man says all for oil abasa you are smart enough to know that this is not oil the message is very clear i am emotionally bankrupt find a way of fulfilling it fulfill that emotion and see how oil matter fades like a leaf say how about the oil today which oil <laughs> which oil are we together so we have a visionary man and a wonderful jovial playful woman in the same house and they just can't connect the man is sitting bible study or business meeting there's a contract coming 100 million honey do you know what is happening 100 million is coming i said see I i'm telling you if you see the cold drink i'm making for you and i said i'm talking to you about something we will eat and you are mm -mm. and you know what the woman says she looks at him and says i've been married to you for 10 years you have never appreciated me i says me i've never appreciated you what of the bad days what of dubai what she's trying to say is this is what i feel at this moment and so i just have a way of saying it and uh, i thought if i say from the beginning it will bring the kind of impact that will force a response period but the man will take it literally with his philosophical first class brain and now go and say my wife call his friend i said my friend he said you too that's exactly what is happening in my own home are going to pray there are times ladies talk to you 
the goal is not to answer they are not talking to you they are relieving themselves be wise and listen doesn't matter what they say they will ramble from pillar to post just just be agreeable if you want peace to reign be agreeable at the end of it when they start crying you can come in because you know that that's it they've got it to the breaking point okay come in but you stop her in the middle of that conversation my brother you will hear it prophetess preacher you will because that's it's like a radar looking for who to end just stand behind quietly it's not weakness it's wisdom through wisdom is a house built 24 verse 3 of of proverbs through wisdom amplified says a home a house whatever it is it's built and then let me round up you talk to the man about the rent and he keeps quiet and he said i've noticed every time i talk to my husband he just ignores me what is this i'm talking to him because i'm under pressure you spoke to him on sunday on wednesday you just see him sit down and say um the house issue you spoke about i'm not interested in anything you didn't speak that time no that's how men talk while he's sitting down he has planned three or four people that he can call he has made some calls without you knowing you want to hear him making the call the pride of a man does not allow that he wants to show you he's responsible say call in my presence let me know you are doing something no a man doesn't act like that he will sit down because you are there he will use an email instead he will not use a call so you will think he's not doing anything hey jimmy please help me can i get 10 naira from you hey jimmy replies yes thank you the alert has entered the account you didn't even know just because he's sitting down quietly husband i'm, I'm telling you i've been keeping quiet i'm not like just because i'm not like other women and the man just keeps quiet and one day you go to test his blood pressure and you see that is everything over everything caused by you and you come back and one day the man just looks at you and in one word he says i'm going to divorce you i can't take it and say what have i done and the man will say i've been in this pain for 16 years you don't understand me but this is how he will say it you don't respect me you don't understand how we think This is how men are. When they met Jesus, we caught a woman in adultery. Jesus just kept quiet. That's a man for you. Are you not going to talk? When he was before Pontius Pilate, in pain. When men are in pain, they keep quiet. When women are in pain, they talk till they cry. Men are not like that. Even when they cry, it's just the tear that speaks. My wife, I am in pain. Being a man is not one day. So. And the woman is talking and then she said oh, since you will not do anything i will go and call this and he said don't do that don't do that oh yeah talk now just go go and sleep then in the middle of the night the man wakes up and goes to sit down outside did i offend you no you didn't offend him he's processing learn how men think he will sit down under a tree and say lord jesus you gave me a wife and children shame has come upon me like a shadow Will you not help me? I must come and sit with you. The Bible says, What God has joined. Leave the man. He's talking to God. He's talking to God. What is all what God has joined again? He's talking to God. Do, do, do. Okay, Okay, do do okay, do okay, do To hold the hand of someone by your left and right wherever you are 
let me tell you this I know you laughed over everything that I was teaching but there might be people following online who are saying apostle you just read my marriage you just read my relationship like a script are you sure somebody did not tell you about me this pain society is full of pain ratio of divorce one is to two there's got to be something wrong the inability to understand the systems of God by the spirit of wisdom is what has brought this pain believers cannot enter decent relationships that they can be proud of that will lead in marriage Christian marriages now break and some don't divorce but the truth is they are divorced the truth is they are divorced intimacy zero communication zero partnership zero support of purpose zero that's why people get married and run back to their ex this ex that because they compare we celebrated valentine there are people here who just entered relationships others have been in it for a while others are married others are planning to get married others are veterans in this it doesn't matter where you are holding someone's hand because christian relationships are in trouble this thing there is a siege from darkness to attack marriages there is a siege from darkness to attack relationships there are many wonderful ladies that God wants them to settle there are many wonderful brothers but there is an understanding from the pit of hell and this discussion is an attempt by the spirit how many people have been stigmatized in the house of God because of their weaknesses and limitations how many women right now live unfulfilled lives in marriages listen by the privilege of the grace God has given me I counsel people I counsel people old enough to be my parents I counsel couples I counsel people when they are getting married and sometimes I have to rest my head and say my God the person you are holding his hands right now may be in pains that you may never imagine we come from families I know that we all dress well tonight but in one minute I'd like you to whisper a genuine prayer over the person you are holding and say lord let the grace let there be healing let there be healing healing there are women who if they have their way they will say i made a mistake in marriage lord healing there are men who are looking to say if only someone advised me i would not marry this woman i can't believe i'm going to live with her for the next 40 years there are relationships right now a man entering five relationships thinking every lady is bad god is showing you that the problem might be you or a lady having a problem with every guy there are good relationships about to miss themselves because they do not understand the systems of god god has revealed a sister to you but just because you do not understand this you are about to lose a godly lady you are about to lose a godly brother because you've not been taught the way systems work. Please pray. Pray. This is a serious business. You grew up seeing your father humiliate your mother just because she was patient for 30 years, 40 years, does not mean that's how it should be. You grew up seeing your mother pay the bills. That's not the way it should be. Pray. Make your ma, 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 make your ma. Keep praying. Me mulki, me iko. Babu, Babu, Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. 
I like you to pray for your family. If you are married, pray. Please let me encourage. Except your wife is sitting far. If you are married, hold the hands and pray for your family. The devil is out to destroy. He's tarnishing the image of the church through their family lives. There are men that are irresponsible. We must square up. There are women that are not respecting men. We have been trained to be celebrated all over. And we bring our husband as a fan. We think he's part of the fans that admire our beauty. You enter a relationship and still want the man to join a queue among the men liking you is a joke. When the man talks, he says, don't treat me like this. There are 10 other guys who love me. Who taught you that? When you sign up for a relationship, it's a declaration of vulnerability. You are ready to soil your hands to make it work. Beautiful girl, handsome guy, I'm a celebrity. Ladies like me, all that is nonsense. Um, there are 10 guys calling me every day, that is nonsense. A relationship is a call for surrender of everything. Some of our fathers right now are almost giving our mothers heart attack. As I'm talking, some of you know it's true. If your mothers were to hear me preach, they would say, Sir, this is what I wanted to tell my daughter before she goes to marriage. The fact that many marriages are not divorced does not mean they are in joy. The high rate of unfaithfulness can be traceable to the frustrations that people face. Please make contact with someone and let's cry for our families. Cry. There is hope for a tree. Cry for your relationship. Lord, forgive me where I've missed it as a result of ignorance. I always thought the problem was the brother. I thought the problem was my husband. I didn't know love is a choice. I didn't know it's a declaration of value. I have devalued my husband before men. I have devalued the gentleman you have brought to my life. I've devalued this lady. I've made everybody disrespect my wife. Disrespect this lady. Pray. I've allowed my wife to foot the bill and play my role. I've allowed my husband to be playing the role of a wife. And I've thought that is a sign that I'm an expensive lady, not knowing that I'm destroying my home. I have gossiped about everyone and everything about my home, about my husband. I've stripped the dignity in my relationship. I ask for mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, help my father. Lord, help my mother. Let him understand this. Let my father be able to enjoy a good wife. Let my mother be able to enjoy a good husband. Koinonia, pray. Our time is gone. But let's pray. Mandela Kapros Kadaba Lakuria Tabash Zekate Parokato Sabrina Maladaba Lakatosh. Hallelujah. Our time is gone. Two more prayer points very quickly. I want everyone to pray. Lord, grace to understand and play my role unashamedly in my relationship. Lift your voice and pray. Whether you are in a relationship or not, that's not the issue. Grace to be a provider indeed. Grace. To protect the fragile personality of the dear woman you have brought to my life. Pray. Grace to honor my man. Grace. Grace to honor the father of my children. Not once, not twice. Grace to be vocal about honor. Pray. I receive grace. I will never allow my wife to go out looking for money while I'm sitting down there doing nothing. I will never, never allow my wife to replace me as provider. If she's blessed and she contributes, glory be to God. I will never allow my husband be the one doing what I can do. I break my pride. I humble myself. Pray. I break my pride. I keep my ego aside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are in a relationship here and you have taken for granted any man's daughter. 
you owe an apology you are in a relationship here and you've made nonsense of the man god has brought to your life because of all these funny men that come around like sheep they don't know you they've not lived with you so their verdict based on the flashy you they see is that you are award-winning but the person who knows you has ate with you has cried with you the same way the guys the lady doesn't know you she's not stayed with you in the room so it's easy for her to see the guy who is a millionaire she's not seen you under pressure but the person that has seen everything about you and yet loves you you can kick her like a piece of rag let's be careful grace the last prayer point i want us to challenge the power some of us come from families let's be honest tonight some of us come from families where there are strong altars we are not bad but the altars in our families have wrecked every marriage you know of including a pastor we are going to pray let's take one minute and wait war in the spirit don't keep quiet lift your voice and pray you have noticed that any man that comes into your life everything about him is destroyed it's not supposed to listen if you choose to believe the truth he will change you they've lied to you that your life is not doing well just because um, there is there is uh, there is something you are not you know you need to go and connect to this you need to do that I believe in favor but favor is only when it comes from God to men not from men if you don't give 150,000 to so 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 person in federal ministry of this you will never get a job that's how we do it you are not part of the we and you find out and the Bible says that when a man's ways pleases the Lord that's the truth that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him are we together listen the part of scripture you find and believe is the part that works for you yes. you can see two people operating on different dimensions of realities is the part you find i have found from this word listen and i don't want you to be offended by what i'm saying but i found from this word that it is possible for a man to fulfill his days i found it i used to fear death I think it's one of the things we all fear because the teaching I got about death was that any day it can meet you anytime and it looked like a very sincere talk until I searched I said God but how can I live my entire life being afraid I'm going to live a life traveling all the time right I'm in the air I'm on road in the morning in the afternoon there are armed robbers weather conditions what is the guarantee that i'm going i mean i can't live my life i'm going for a crusade somewhere and i'm afraid i want to go and heal the sick cast out demons but me the man of god that god will use you are now afraid whether you arrive safely as soon as you arrive your heart returns back and you are hey, thank you jesus what is torturous way of living but there is a truth ha ah. There is something you can hold and dear death you look at it in the face and say oh death where is thy sting now you see until you have caught that truth don't make mouth this is the problem we talk nonsense in church and say all kinds of things and become victims it is the encounter of the burning bush that qualifies you to stand before pharaoh when you have seen the burning bush you can stand before pharaoh and say hey pharaoh stop oppressing god's people because Pharaoh will not let you go just because you can speak English. Jesus, the truth. Let me tell you something. Life will dare you to your face. It will take the truth to build a world of fortification. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe the word of God. That's why we are gathered here tonight. This is called a miracle service. There is no guarantee anywhere that anybody will be healed. There is no guarantee anywhere that devils will be casted out. Let me tell you, without understanding the truth, any action you take is arrogance. You make a fool out of yourself. What is the guarantee that in the next few minutes, the Lord is going to step in and begin to produce miracles in the lives of people? Is the truth. As at morning, when they were fixing this place, what was the guarantee that people were going to come and all the seats will be filled? 
What was the guarantee that people will be following us from over 45 nations of the world? Is the truth. There is an information you know. The power of God. That I believe you, oh God, and I'm ready to follow. You will not lie to me. I believe you. You are not a man that you should lie. Not the son of man. I don't doubt him. I believe you. My experiences notwithstanding, I still believe you. Number three. Jesus, the life. Hmm. A revelation of his power and his ability to make a life. Jesus, the life. John 11 verse 25 to 26 an event happened there Lazarus was a man who had died three days and then Jesus said he sleepeth and they were going to go and resurrect him and when they went they saw his sisters crying now this was talking about physical death but it applies to every area watch this death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life. Many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives. When an organ fails, that's death. Are we together? The sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said, Ah, there is death in this food. And Jesus said to her, I am what? What is resurrection? Bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again hallelujah that for me is the definition of hope 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 bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but i'm 70 years now how many more years do i have when the resurrection comes he can bring back to life are we together i should have been a phd holder now but so 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 and so happened to me when the resurrection comes listen to me jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive this is good news are we together so the Bible says, rejoice not over me, my enemies. You know my fall, but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection. Rejoice not over me. Yes, I know for now I do not have a job. I lost my job. Yes, I know that this and that may have happened in my life. But there is Jesus the life. He can put life back. He can put life back. Let me show you something the Bible says. Very interesting. Well, let's finish it. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, although his kidney were dead, he can come alive. He that believeth on me, although his finances were dead, he can come alive. Do you know that hopelessness is, is one of the major causes of depression in our society? You know what hopelessness is? A perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again and people just give up society is full of angry people who just walk around and say look there's no hope no hope for this child no hope for this no hope for me again no i'm already past menopause no child let me just agree that i will never have a child in my life listen to what the bible says Job chapter 14, please give it to us 7 to 9. Job chapter 14. Shalabakuriata kasubrendiakata. Read it with me, please. One to read. For there is hope for a tree. For there is hope for Joshua Selman. For there is hope for any life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? For there is hope in spite of that medical report. Humanly speaking. You should put your house in order ask hezekiah when a true prophet came and said hezekiah i've heard from god when a man hears from god who else do you consult but hezekiah said no way 
I know this mystery. There is resurrection. There is life. There is hope. He turned his face and said, God, let's talk. I know Isaiah is your prophet, but I'm your child too. Let's talk. Remember now. Come on, God. Don't act as if you ignore me like that. And God said, ah, 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 ah. He has compelled a dimension. Listen, let me tell you. Tonight, you have to insist for some things to come back to life. Don't go. Some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over. That business will never come alive. Let you just give glory to God. It's over. It has gone. That destiny will never come alive. But it's okay. I already know that I would never walk again. My leg can't walk. So my focus now is to just succeed. I am the resurrection and the life. He says, for there is hope for a tree. If it be what? Cut down. I like that word. Cut down, not rooted out. Cut down means the root is still connected. The mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving God. I, I, I know you lost, you lost joy, you lost peace. You made a mistake. I know you now have a baby. It should not be. But the mistake was that you were cut down, not rooted out. And the Bible says that it will what? Sprout again. Talk to me, agriculturists, that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree, yet it still starts growing. Have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire? It doesn't stop the tree from growing. I hear the joy coming. Hey, I hear the breakthrough coming. I hear the sound coming. Sound of abundance and joy. I see the lifting coming. Hey. Hold on. Listen. I tell you that. that the anointing of God is strong upon me. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Give us that scripture again. Give us that scripture. Because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight. He says, for there is hope. Everybody say there is hope. Let the devil hear you. Let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting and say, will she ever rise with this carryover? With 11 carryovers, will you ever rise? The Bible says there is hope for a tree. There is hope for a tree. It says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease. We are reading to verse 9. Though the root thereof be wax old in the earth and the stalk thereof die in the ground. Verse 9. Yet... Hold on. It didn't say through the arrival of water, the scent, proximity to life. Proximity to life. The moment you come into a place where there is life, it has not touched you yet. Your roots resonating with life. Listen, listen. Those of you who have done physics, there's something they call resonance. Is that true? That when you use a tuning fork and hit at a frequency every other object within that frequency answers to it you were designed by the life-giving spirit so when satan tries to bring death and then you are seated somewhere and you come into an environment where there's life deep starts calling on to deep your dream starts telling you i'm ready to come back to life forget the fact that i failed Rejoice not over me, my enemy. We live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die. Ah, look at this mama. Nine children, all useless. And she's coming for koinonia. And they say, keep going. Mama, tonight, the resurrection and the life. The resurrection and the life. Hear me. How about a man of God? You know God called you. You know he anointed you. But truly you have not seen increase. Not in your life. Oh God, where will the anointing come? Or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down. And listen, it is true that Jesus died, but did he die forever? He died only for three days. While he had resurrected, men were still talking about his death. 
could it be hold on could it be that some of you while you are in this meeting now other people are talking about your past life they don't know resurrection is happening they are still sitting discussing yesterday so every time they look at her they say i know this lady oh this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment you were right but ask rahab shabbatos kotabriata hmm. listen do you know why god instructed that they killed everybody in jericho he did not want anyone who knew rahab's past to be part of those who follow her because she would be part of the lineage of jesus listen when god wants to make nonsense of satan he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself and then when he's done he says let me now show you the expertise let me show you what makes me god and he starts building many people conclude on men because they don't know god this god we serve are we together i always use promises promise come 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 with all my heart you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts are we together years ago with dreadlocks he came to zaria with dreadlocks and earrings he was an occultist of the highest order a territorial commander he ran away because they were about to imprison him but brothers and sisters rejoice not over me my enemy no 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 help them under the anointing please you would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society we are experts at talking about people but while they were talking about saul god was seeing paul ah. apostle but i don't even know who my father is i'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background i came from don't worry the god of israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of god with grace and power and anointing hallelujah they had concluded on zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when god was going he had to climb the tree and god said come down zacchaeus is your house i'm going let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house and at once zacchaeus said i will repay everybody and zacchaeus completely changed hear me i came to preach to someone tonight there is a dimension of jesus called jesus the life the life the life jesus the life jesus the life jesus the life, jesus the life. that everything that has died in a man's life can come alive even time can come alive that's the god that we serve hear me you have come tonight some of us from far some of us from several things and you have come to encounter jesus the life the life giving spirit he can put life back to your finances and the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you listen 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 please let's not make this thing look as if we are acting we're talking about god here apostle but this is 10 years no child and they told me that there are all kinds of cysts and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplets second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three two one registers his name the years that the canker worm has eaten hear me hear me mordecai mordecai did something that was good and he was his testimony was archived in a book and dropped quietly you see ba there is a day god gets angry and vows by his name i have seen this 
truly speaking that God vows a vow read it through scripture that he wants to lift a man when God vows a vow to lift a man I tell you not even your personal faith will stop you there is such a thing that God can say the appointed time is come I've seen people lifted overnight and frankly speaking sometimes they've not even understood certain principles God just vowed with his name tonight I want your faith to be please look listen you have come before God this is not a cinema to watch film you have come with your heart open I want you to insist tonight all these three dimensions are dimensions that for a taking but I perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life there is too much death there is too much death in people's life dead organs hold on listen there are people here they can't walk 10 minutes a young man 25 35 you walk 10 minutes you breathe as if you would die they go to the hospital and say mr man almost everything we see is wrong you need life oh you need life there are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps all kinds of demonic things satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life but when his life comes when his life comes there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses you know everything is there no favor no open doors there are many men here you are hard working but there is no life you are just a body walking sweating toiling the cause of hardship from morning till night living from hand to mouth the key is not promotion the key is life life to draw from you again hey, hey. To drink from you again yeah. To drink from you again yeah. We've come to the road working out the same tonight I insist lift your voice and pray Lord I can't go back the way I came I place a demand a demand on your Prayer point number two Change my level, oh God Change the dimensions Take me to another level 
attention praise the Lord hallelujah there's a lot to do tonight we're going to do it in this order I'm going to take the altar call now and then tonight we're going to start with the sick I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing hallelujah now quickly let me have your attention my God the power of God is so strong so strong I already see activities of angels you're in this place inside outside any of the overflows one two three four by the roadside i told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with jesus and there are people here some of you may be visiting for the first time but you know that you need jesus genuinely not just as a religious philosophy you truly need jesus christ some of you at one point you handed your life over to him but things went haywire and right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain overflow one overflow two i'm going to count one to five please clear the way for them i want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is leave your seat right now and run whether you are inside or outside i'll count one to five keep standing one koinonia celebrate them Two, are you running? Run to Jesus. Lord, I'm tired of my life. Tired of the way things have been. I can't pretend it. I'm running to you now. Three, celebrate them. Are you running? Leave your seat. Break your pride and run. I need Jesus in my life. I need Jesus in my life. This is a, a matter of urgency. This is no pretense. This is no church. I need Jesus in my life. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. Run! No turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. One more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. in overflow three there and the holy spirit is telling me they are supposed to be part of these people overflow three please quickly there's so much to do there are three people i'm seeing in overflow three outside and the lord is telling me they should be there don't allow your friends stop you i'm still going to give one more minute one more minute as the holy spirit is convicting you you're saying i want to come but i'm a bit shy 
run make your way quickly come and join us come and join us hallelujah look at me please let them come and join those of you in front please look at me i salute you this is serious business here please there's there's nothing to be ashamed of hold on hold on now you see when most people give their lives to christ they come in emotionally and some are not even serious they come laughing pinching themselves lord jesus and they're laughing and not serious this jesus business is life we're not talking about a certificate we are not talking about a husband or wife. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Please hear me. As you are here, make sure that your decision is genuine. No one condemns you, but I want you to mean it. Please don't, don't play games with God. This is the God of heaven. I want you to say this from the depth of your heart. All of you in front here and those joining quickly. If you are joining them, make your way to the front say this passionately and truly say lord jesus say it again lord jesus some of you are not saying it say it one more time lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for my sin I believe that you resurrected for me this night I have heard your word and I declare that I need you in my life I hand over my life to you from now and forever I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that from today I am a child of God satan you had my confession stay away from my life forever in the name of jesus let me pray for you now jesus we present to you the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and they were worth your blood your tears and your death i ask oh god by the power of your spirit that you preserve them let this not be an emotional decision i pray sincerely that today will become the beginning of a new season of your grace your power your mercy upon their lives i declare your sins forgiving i declare and declare that from today you walk in newness of life i set you free from everything that holds you down in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision never forget this day never forget this day hallelujah praise god now i will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service i want you to follow who is waving his hands follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you have your details please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them let's make it fast so that they can return back Please politely follow them. They will ask for your details. Cooperate with them. Everyone this way. Let's honor them as they go very quickly. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can we help them? Let's make it fast. Now, we're going to do it this way. Um, I'm going to start praying for the sick right, right away. We're going to pray for the sick now. So that we can take out time. Um let's deal with the sick first i already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing lady look at me the lord is asking me to stretch my hands i command that devil let her go now you had her confession i curse you by the god of heaven i released you now i'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head i set you free this is koinonia the place of encounter i decree and declare that from today you are set free and there's something i'm seeing in your stomach i decree and declare that it leaves you right now in the name of jesus christ now we are going to pray uh there are certain cases i want to deal with by myself tonight um any case please listen any case whether you are in any of the overflows 
please i will pray for people overflow one i want you to march to your overflow those who are trusting god you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones um but let's do it this way all those who are trusting god for the fruit of the womb if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood related disease hiv cancer or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in and i want to minister to you myself hallelujah that doesn't mean please listen listen it doesn't mean if i'm not the one ministering to you you will not be blessed the anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you are we together now so let's not have a rowdy um a crowd there so overflow one i like all of you who are trusting god to be prayed for please i want you to move to your projector stands overflow two um overflow three those online connect by faith and um, we're going to be praying for you those inside make your way very quickly the special cases that i ask make your way quickly quickly please we have to be very fast there's a lot to do the reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because god has anointed us for this reason hallelujah god has anointed us it's a privilege to carry his anointing and we must take our time to release blessings to god's people make your way quickly look how many people need the touch of god what a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the lord to touch and heal and bless everyone lift your voice and pray everyone lift your voice lift your voice pray it's a miracle service please those that are coming in from outside make sure it's only blood related diseases terminal diseases terminal diseases otherwise you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you Father, you have anointed, you have anointed us in this place. You have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles. Lord, you have produced untold testimonies. It's a privilege to be extensions of your hand again, ministering to the needs of your people. It is your desire that in every territory, there must be a place where men and women can find the power of god at work and lord thank you for making this such a place tonight we pray that there will be abundance abundance of your anointing in the name of jesus tonight is serious business i really perceive that there is need to minister to people we're going to have um some of our leaders stationed in various places please i want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister i'm going to just make contact with them um there will at least be two two at different different points and then we're going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh, Michael come one of these days we'll begin to train other people and help the, the idea is to help and build people uh, Mike leave the keyboard um, someone else can play the keyboard you can come this is an opportunity we're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust God um, Shade will you be strong come She's always had the healing anointing. You have the strength? Please come. This lady you see, it's a compendium of the healing power of God. And um, so we're going to pray. I think this is okay. We're going to pray. Please, those outside, if, if they don't ask you, uh, if they are prophesying to you, it's a different thing. If they are giving you a word of knowledge, it's all right. Otherwise, you don't have to start talking, talking, and doing all of this. Lord, we agree right now in Jesus' name. My God, there's such anointing on my hands. As they lay hands on the people, Lord, I decree and declare, let your power flow in such dimension, in such magnitude, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Um, Shade and Promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road. Shade and Promise, Benga and um, Femi, this overflow. And then Mike and Pastor Alpha will be at the overflow, overflow three now. Um, Ejimi will be with me here. Pastor Alpha. Um, huh? Okay, two of you are there. Okay, fine. Who is left? Michael. Okay, they join them outside this overflow here. And then we'll walk with Ejimi inside here. Praise the Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, let there be miracles right now. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. In the name of Jesus, let there be such a strong move of the Spirit. Let the sick be healed. While this is happening, please, um, I want you, if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests, let's do that very quickly. We're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we'll pray for you now. I want you to trust God for miracles. Trust God for miracles. Insist that God must give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing. Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe. There is healing in your name as we worship, as we worship in your presence. There is healing. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle touch is flowing. It's flowing.
Jesus. There is healing in your name. And as we worship, as we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit. I want you to believe that there is no power holding on to your destiny that will go back with you. Please believe this night. There are strange spirits that are responsible for the sufferings. You see this dear lady? This lady came all the way from Lagos. Had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life. It's not just about employment. Came here. This lady came, I think it was last week, all the way because she was nothing at all she was employed but oppression after him. oppression there's somebody in the congregation i'm, I'm seeing like uh, the lord is opening my eyes this is strange and i don't know what it is that i'm seeing that has to do with elephants i'm seeing an elephant and i'm seeing like fire coming this is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as i'm talking um I'm praying for the sick, but we're going to minister to other needs. But right now, the Lord is asking me to minister to such a person. So I'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the Lord showed me, right now from here, I decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked. I command judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ on such a person, wherever you are, in this congregation i decree and declare right now that the power of god touches you right where you are right where you are right where you are in the name of jesus right where you are right where you are in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone at the minister stand the minister stand. i'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body lord in the name of jesus whoever that person is it must go now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every strange devil every strange spirit we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive completely not conducive in the name of Jesus I want you to look at this look at look at what look at what the devil can do this is a human being's face mama come madam is this our mother Mommy, come. How long has this been? This is one year now. A year plus. Year. A year plus, yes. Her face just started swelling. It started bleeding from the nose. And before you know, it's her, one of her, this her eyes. I out. prayed for her the last time. Yes. You see it going down? Yes, I see it you going You see it down. from the last time? Yes. Who was there when you saw yes. the last time? It's going down. You see it going down now? Yes. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, that the way this thing has started going down, it must go down normally. And then, Mama, any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening, are we together? If I am a man of God, that person must die this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I'm looking at you. Hold on. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of a woman. And I'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground on ground like enchantment i say it again whoever is responsible for terminating attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady by the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow her now. god bless you see let me tell you something brothers and sisters wickedness is very very real very real very very real very very real i want you to lift your voice in one minute and say father judgment tonight pray lift your voice everything that must give way 
for the next level of my destiny to be open I command it so now by the power of the Holy Ghost pray inside pray outside pray by the anointing of the Holy Ghost pray Shaka toko 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 kesh Reke teke teka tabada bada bada bas Mata kato shepre kete Lente pre keta basha barada bada 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 Leke ta pros kata baranda ka pras kata bada tos Are you praying? Make sure you are praying Let her go now I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it really going to pray seriously right now um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick hallelujah there are, there are many many demons that must go many not few many oppressed all kinds of um, strange strange demons bring this girl come bring her I'm seeing a spirit bring her let her go now Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen i want you to stand because i'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not like wanting to run away the spirit running with them that's why i'm saying i'm i'm asking the people to stand we are going to pray please listen i want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together i want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we're going to pray i'm seeing like a ghana must go and i'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh god it's time to be loose now bring them out Please, I need strings, strings of the flowing sound, please. Bring them out. Shake it, take it out. Braka doso topa shata. At his word, every demon, every devil. There's no hiding place for any power of darkness. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Bracato shoto preke tell you about that. Hallelujah. Please hold your hands together. I want to pray a prayer. You are going to help your neighbor now. Something strange is going to happen to people. I want to pray because I'm seeing like fire passing from people to people. This this contact must be maximum. Lord, I pray. Anyone who is a victim of any oppression, as this fire passes now, in the name of Jesus. Once you see your neighbor manifesting, please let them come. In the name of Jesus, I release that fire right now. 
from road to road, from people to people, from road to road, inside, outside. I command every stranger, every stranger, every stranger, in the name of Jesus, every stranger, outside, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, online. I curse that devil right now. That fire is burning. That fire is burning. Every principality, every power. Shaka ta 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 ta. Outside, mighty deliverances. Outside, from road to road, the power of God is setting people free. It's time for yokes of captivity to give way. It's time for age long captivities to give way. Haroto Sose Sesiatata Rakatos Kabaria Dabalakoto Shubia. Hallelujah. Everyone, say after me in the name of Jesus. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Say in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of delay over my life, over my family, be judged now. Now watch what happens to you. I decree and declare, anyone with such yoke, I command judgment now. Judgment now, now, on those forces. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Please lift your hands. Shabaratos Kotosh. Tonight I trust God for an extensive time of deliverance. Listen, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing snakes. This is what I'm seeing coming out from holes. Anyone here tied by any spirit, they come to you in the night to sleep with you. Fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now. Visitors of the night, strangers of men's destinies, I judge you by the God of heaven, inside and outside. I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Please put your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. Sisters, lift your hands. If there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams appearing as men appearing as women appearing as animals at the count of three as you shout Jesus Jesus the life is destroying any dead are you ready one two three I command those devils those strangers Strangers, powers of witchcraft, molesting people, the daughters of Zion, I curse you, I curse your covenant. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. So, every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Hallelujah. I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service. And the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. I'm seeing padlocks. That's what I'm seeing. This is representing men's destinies. Nothing is happening in your life. 
you are not lazy but doors have refused to open right now at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus as loud as you can some of you will literally be caught up in visions and you will see the doors of your destiny is open right now oh god i declare that every padlock over any man's destiny over any man's life at the count of three they are open one two three Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen, you may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now. I'm seeing at least 47. I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them. Fire! 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 Upon every family. Fire! 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 The spirit of death broken. Hallelujah. Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen, except it is not the spirit of God, but any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human washing but as i pass your road i'm seeing fire on my left and right tonight is the ministry of fire and like a wildfire it will pass you and begin to consume things some of you as i pass that physical fire that heat lord let it be right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ Rakato Shabariakata. Take it here. That fire, fire. Judging everything. Judging every evil. From every row, row to row. Row to row, row to row. That fire right now. Every witchcraft, every power. Every witchcraft, every power. Tying anyone. Someone's womb is being loose now. Someone's womb is being loose. Someone's womb is being loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I go out? Is it, is it possible? Those outside, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Please quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. A chain, a chain, a chain. 
a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. in the name of Jesus. You don't have to touch me, just be there's somebody here. The yoke of delay is breaking now, 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 now is breaking now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking now, break now, breaking now, breaking now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Breaking now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a cloud on this place. I release that fire. It's breaking now. Right, right, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Help them, help them. Please hold them. Break. Elisha, 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 who is that, Elisha, where are you coming from, maybe you, maybe you here, I want to pray for you, the Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough, Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring. What's your name? My daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. Amen. I'm seen like a shrine on fire. Hold on. I'm seen like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. Make sure, no, especially women with children, please. Please, make sure that we allow them, please. They can come, just stand anywhere. The goal is us, please. Just give them room, just orderly. They can come in and stand anywhere.
recurrent issues the lord is addressing them now our time is gone but i'm praying recurrent issues the power of god is going to fall on people now i don't know how those outside will do but i pray for grace for them but i'm seeing a grace to destroy recurrent issues issues that come you solve them and they come back again where are those people i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus that fire is visiting them now recurrent issues the lord is setting people free right now recurrent issues please help this this woman recurrent issues that devil is going right now in the name of jesus recurrent issues recurrent issues never again in the name of jesus never again by the power of the holy ghost please i know it's raining but participate god is touching people i'm seeing it again recurrent issues issues that come and you think you are done with and they return back i decree and declare that fire is coming now that fire is coming now recurrent issues in the name of jesus be set free right now be set free right now be set free right now hallelujah toy toy what's your name my son name is toy toy i will pray for you i'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family this is this is heavy satanic oppression huh? heavy satanic oppression all of you are toying what's your name my auntie Who? my auntie's name is toying i will pray for you please make sure you are toying don't come out carelessly but hold my hands I will pray for you. I will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family. Hold my hands with both of your hands. Your family must be free from witchcraft. Lord Jesus. Ah. Fire. Fire. On every altar. Fire. On every altar of witchcraft. I command. I use her as a point of contact. And pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage i command your emancipation now i command your emancipation every family under the yoke of darkness Are you towing? My huh? You have bad luck. Bad luck on your life. Very bad luck. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, this is a miracle service. Set this lady free. This yoke of bad luck. I decree and declare that it must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It must leave you right now. Your sister. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. The same way God is touching her, may God touch you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you are doing My auntie. Where is she? What is this for? This is my family. My mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a Hold the photo. You believe that when I pray for you, God will touch them. Lord, visit this family right now. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, through you, let it touch your family. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out. Why, why is she out? Why are you out, my dear? Huh? My sister is doing Okay, I will lay my hands on you. Be free. Your, your mother. Your mother. Something is leaving your mother. In the name of Jesus. 
I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Kai, what is this? Look at, I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. Please, just thank God it's raining. If you are inside, don't complain. Those outside are enduring the rain. Just keep quiet and allow God to visit you. Snakes. I saw a snake from this lady and I'm still seeing snakes around. There's no hiding place for darkness. Rakato shoto prekete kata. I'm seeing snakes. Lord, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady, come. This one with the no. God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare. I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare, don't worry, deliver. In the name of Jesus Christ, every access given to you by darkness, I close it now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I close it now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release that fire and that power. There is no hiding for any darkness. Release every breakthrough. Release every destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. I'm hearing Memuna. 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone. Your love. Memuna. Huh? Is what? Your step. Okay. Memuna. I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My youngest. Okay. I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper. You came out to stand for someone, but you are the one God is giving the visitation. I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You won't believe what I'm about to pray for. I'm seeing written in the air, forgetfulness. There is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are here, whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness, the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. Wherever you are, I release you from it right now. I release you from it right now. I release you right to the back, outside, all the overflows. Anyone who has that manifestation in their lives, I release them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. I release them right now. I release them from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. Why is he here? Why are you here, sir? Uh, my cousin. Is what? My cousin, we were here last week. 
But he didn't come today. Your what? My cousin, Tony. Tony. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God touch them whatever their issues are. I declare that God will resolve it right now. In Jesus' name. I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for. Physical money disappears sometimes from your pocket, sometimes from your bag. I'm not talking of stealing. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't just come out carelessly. Phys money, you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less. It has disappeared. Who is that? I need to pray for you. It's a very serious issue. Yeah, na, 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 na. You? Hallelujah. Kai, the Lord is showing me something very serious. There's somebody, um, don't be embarrassed. You woke up physically in the middle of the night. And now I'm not saying you idolize animals, but there was a rat, a physical rat, not running around. You were looking at it, it was looking at you like this. There's someone like that here. Rat, it was looking at you. You were wave your hands let me know you are the one i'm talking to come out come and stand here i'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms that's not what i'm this this is a special unique demonic case come Kai. this lady i have to pray for you favor zero breakthrough zero trouble hundred percent father in the name of Jesus, change this face I'm seeing. Jakatos koprakato zakato liakata parkanda praktisia. Lekos kapranda gada shuse preketekatos. In the name of Jesus, zekata atata suzia. Mante pros kata prande kato liakata. Jakas kende kosh. Akras kate zeketons kamatan zekata. Reketo sekete kete kete bakata. Mamprato soto bere kete riakata. Shasesesesekata Mabroto Soto Topaka Embriata Sada Siata Shakel Katamas Katabariakato Embre Kete 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 Rekos Kososo Pekete de Kata Mebriata Sise Kotosho Pariakata Break the chains, break the chains, break the chains, break the chains in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is somebody, your grandmother appears to you. Your grandmother appears to you. Where is that person? Come. Don't be embarrassed. This is a serious issue. Our time is gone, but thank God it's raining. We are going to round up. Your grandmother, you see your grandmother. She appears. Who is that? Wave your hands. Come and stand here. It's a very demonic thing. Your grandmother appears to you. Come and stand. Grandmother appears to you. Who is that? Wave your hands. Let me know you are here. All of you that see your grandmother, come and stand here. We have to break you from that demonic thing. What fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? This Lagos lady, God is on your case because you need to be thoroughly, thoroughly delivered. There is a spirit that is oppressing you and there's no hiding place. You hallucinate. This lady literally sees things. She can be here physically. It's, you know what they call astral travel. She can live. Not vision. Live physically. This lady. I command that wicked spirit. In the name of Jesus. And whatever she sees about you. Except you are powerful. It must happen. It's a spirit. She doesn't even know why. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a cat. I curse you. By the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't be tired. I know our time is gone, but it's raining. Let, let, let's just visit these things because... Come. You are a beautiful girl, but no favor in your life. Shift. Let me talk to this, this yellow girl. Come, run. God wants to wipe your tears. Ah, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something like a crown on your head. Come, you must be delivered thoroughly. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this cause of disfavor this is a beautiful girl, but there's no favor in her life. Shato Soto Bakata. Randa Koto Soto Kete Barakata. I decree and declare every legal access of darkness. 
I curse it right now. I curse it right now. I open the doors. I open the doors from the realm of the spirit. Let there be favor over your life. In Jesus' name, hold on, sir. I need to pray for you. This encounter, supposed encounters, has retrogressed your life. I you hear what I'm saying. I have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now. You too. You see your grandmother. Where are you from? Kalaba. No. Obudu. Obudu. Cross River. Obudu. Cross River. I have to pray for you. Please, if I if I didn't call, why are you here? Are you sh you know why you are here? Huh? You see your grandmother. Kai. There's somebody here. Hold on. All of you see your grandmothers. Don't laugh. You see, let me tell you. This is not some, it's not mockery. It's not, I'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic. Please don't get me wrong. These are very special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Someone has fallen down there. Please let the doctors attend to the person. Make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Kai, you, come. What business do you have to do with dead people? Dead people. Eh? Hold my hands. Say in Jesus' name. Say it seriously. In Jesus' name. Every affiliation with the dead, I curse it now. I release an anointing upon you now. Everything you have to do with dead people. In Jesus' name. Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Huh? Mm -mm. You are not serious with Jesus. Hold my hands. How are you? Don't be embarrassed, but um, the first thing you need is your relationship. I'm looking at you. I can't, I don't want to embarrass you, but you need Jesus seriously. I love you, eh? That's why I'm helping you. I love you with all my heart. Go and meet the, who? Um, where's Pastor Alpha? Just meet him. He will talk with you. You need counseling. He's, he own is not just grandmother. God just brought you out here to, in, your destiny is needed. Please go and see. He'll talk to you. Now, all of you who are having these issues, I'm going to lay my hands on you now. When I lay my hands on you, I want you to believe. There is this strange Kai. I'm seeing somebody, someone appears to you in the night. And when he appears to you, please don't come out at random. As soon as he appears to you, your spirit literally starts leaving your body. Literally, as in you feel yourself, you will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed there's somebody with that case that situation right now i have to pray for that person right now i have to pray for that person right now something comes pulls your spirit out like it's going i will lay my hands on you all of you are so many father every affiliation with darkness i'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast sir i'm i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack serious poverty yes sir eh? yes sir nothing works yes, sir. your life is like a basket anything that enters goes out i'm not embarrassing you eh? you are saying the money truth. leaves your hand even if they give you one million it must find a way of going yes, yes, sir. You are man, but money does not stay yes sir is that true yes sir do you tight yes sir. you are not consistent one two um you see this consistency of tightening is one way to drive the devourer god is not a magician you have to be consistent Praise God. God blesses you ten times. You tight once. Your heavens are completely closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now and I command breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Let me lay my hands quickly now. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Go now and cost that spirit.
round. Let's round up. Thank you so much for your patience. I just took advantage of the rain. I want to prophesy over your life now. We're going to be very fast. Five minutes and we're out of this place. Please, I want you to believe every prayer that is coming now. Every prayer. Come. Every prayer. The Lord is taking you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new dimension. A new level. Cameraman. God is wiping your tears. Keep the camera first. Wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. This lady. I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady standing close to Ella. I'm seeing a vision that the Lord is going to show her a breakthrough. I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus. Everything tying down your families particularly. The Lord is asking me to release the family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy. Those outside, please follow me. Those online, follow me. Our time is gone, but let's just be patient. Two, three minutes, we're out of here. I decree and declare from tonight, move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Make progress 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 in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Multiply in the name of Jesus. Anyone here who has lost anything in your life, I declare, I'm seeing 28 in 28 days. Shato Soto Koto Pakata. 28 days from now. I command that it comes back to your hands. I command that it comes back to your hand. I command that it comes back to your hand. Anyone here who has been victimized by life, by circumstances, by men, I decree and declare, may the God I serve vindicate you right now. Everyone here in need of direction, you are praying, oh God, I need to know what step do I take. In the name of Jesus tonight, strange encounters that bring you direction. Strange encounters that bring you direction. The yoke of poverty and hardship and lack, I command it to live your life now. I command it to live your life now. Live your family now. Live your destiny now. I pray for every family represented here. Whatever you are trusting God for as a family, I release my faith with you and I decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now. The kind of favor you have not seen from January till now, I decree and declare from tonight, not tomorrow, from tonight, let it start working in your life. Strange favor in your life. Strange favor in your life. God has placed his honor upon this ministry. I pray for you from today, anywhere you go. Whether they know you or not, I command them to honor you. Believe it, I command honor upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayer points and we're done. Whatever has made your pace of your life slow. Some of you are moving forward, but you are too slow for your destiny. At the rate you are going, you will not do much in your lifetime. I prophesy to you, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace for speed. Receive the grace for speed. Do in one month what you have not done in five years. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, I pray for you. Whatever has taken advantage of your spiritual life, your prayer life, your fasting life, word life, passion for God, passion for the house of God, right now I stretch my hands and I declare fresh fire on your altar. Prayer fire on your altar. 
word fire on your altar fasting fire on your altar I decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer I say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the God of vengeance arise in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching